Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to the stream. Hey Goopa, hey Achilles, hey Burbooch, hey Sir Lance. Oh, oh no, the stream, the stream audio. Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so this is my last ditch effort to make solo cleric work in solos. I do not think that the protection spell or I'm sorry, the protection skill was good in solos because of the amount of magic damage that is currently in the game, okay? So that's why I'm not using that. Outside of that skill, I am going to go back to the old setup that I used to use a very, very long time ago, which is the Smite Judgment Combo. I have tried this before, and it was kind of underwhelming, but now that we have the additional magic scaling, we can get up to 16 additional magic damage. I am going to see if I can make this work. Absolutely no promises that this build's going to work. I don't even know. <laughs> I have no idea for myself if it will or not. I hope it does, but there's only one way to find out. We're going to give this a go. Let me just put this on there. I have a lot of stuff waiting to sell in the marketplace, so... Just bear with me for one second while I put this up. Hopefully I don't run out of space. If I do, I might have to do some fencing midstream. Because I am, uh, I, I only have, like, a, maybe a stash tab left. And I still have stuff to sell. Alright, so anyway, as I was saying, I think... I mean, I guess there really isn't that much to talk about at this point. We're going to be rocking Magic Staff with Magic Damage Bonus. War Maul for clearing mobs. And in case I need another weapon... Chaperone with additional magic, Mystic Vestment with plus two wall, Loose Trousers with movement speed, Lightfoot Boots with move speed. We need movement speed for this build. It's not playable without move speed. Uh, we're still getting 53% magic power bonus. And I considered using the build that I'm using for Warlock, which is Leather Leggings with plus all, but Cleric really, really needs move speed. This build just won't work at all, unless we're probably, I would say, 105% or higher. So, rocking these for, you know, the really high speed. Running agility pieces for the additional magic as well. And we have pots because we're, we are we don't have spells. So, we have to, we have to unfortunately, you know, use protection potions and that nature. Alright, so that said, I think we're pretty much good to go. Do a warm-up game. Hopefully things go well. If I die right off the rip, well... I have three extra kits, <laughs> so we'll see how that one goes. Forty move speed, thirty percent arm. Yeah, I remember that. Who remembers the? Even better, who remembers the ten movement speed quarter staff? Oh man, that was my favorite barbarian weapon. Nothing better. Pika Vista. Seventy-three, forty-seven. 56 73 47 56 73 70 40 110 120 to 170 i think something like that sorry snadrix my uh my internet slash stream crashed so i was i was done so <laughs> i got i got i got ruined by my by my internet <laughs> The, the internet company didn't want me to stream, I suppose. I know. I know I got cut off like midstream. I'm very scared of rogues. Really, really, really scared of rogues. Where are the warlocks? There's no warlocks here. This whole build was made to counter warlocks. <laughs> and there's no warlocks in this lobby. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's scary. Because rogues are, I think this build is weaker against rogues than my warlock build is. Because warlock, even if you get cutthroat, the crystal sword will still do a lot of damage. Uh, this build, if you get caught from, if you get ambushed by a rogue, and then also get it, I don't know. Why no? Okay, so I'm not using divine protection because I think this meta, I expected a lot of warlocks today, and divine protection is trash against warlocks. So I'm using judgment instead. Hey, simple Ricky, welcome, welcome. How you doing, man? This is just, yeah, pretty much. This is basically the Crystal Sword build, but with slightly different stats. But I couldn't help myself, but at least try Cleric. 
Birds felt so bad to me recently. Hey, just saw my last video. Curvasaur looks a lot of fun. Uh, so I went with additional because it scales with the will stat that we're stacking on that build. You're welcome to try with true damage. I don't think it's bad with true. But there's not a lot of magic resist right now, so I think it's fine to just run additional because you do get more scaling with it if you run it that way. But really, again, it's it's probably up to you whether you run one or the other. Get Clark to 35. Mm, I think Wizard would be really good for multi-classing, so that could be an option for you. Uh -oh. It should. Yeah, my understanding is additional skills with Will. I don't know why it wouldn't. It should. True does not. Hey, Gizmo. So the reason I'm not using Divine Protection, quite honestly, is because I think there's a, I think there's gonna be a lot of magic today. And magic is trash against Warlock. Or, or uh, Divine Protection's trash against Warlock, I mean. Because they're just gonna hit me with magic, so why do I need that? I'd rather have Judgment. There's, there's, there's pros and cons to both. I don't value, I do not value Divine Protection anymore now that they nerfed the max PDR. Max PDR to 75% honestly makes me want to put Divine Protection in the, uh, in the garbage bin to be, to be completely real with you. Is that true? Does additional not scale with Will? I thought it did. Is it just the headshot that skills? Is that true? So what's the point of building Will then? What does Will do? What the hell is the point of Will? Is it just a useless stat? Yeah, wait a minute. Is that true? Uh-oh. I didn't know that. So what the hell is the point of additional? Why not just use true? Isn't true just better for cleric then? Hey, I appreciate that, Jordan. Glad you like the content, man. I think I just heard a player, too. Pretty sure they're up there. Spell damage plus magic tool, like, 8 from your set. Well, damn. Well, doesn't sound too good to me anymore. I'm kind of sad about that one. I'm gonna be honest. I had no idea. Yeah, I really thought it scaled. It just made sense to me that it would scale because it's just additional. Iron Mace really needs to work on like the tooltip or something to make you like to be more got stuck on the box. To make it more um obvious what scales and what doesn't. Yeah, true is obviously better than I had no idea. I really should probably just do true then. No? I guess the only advantage of additional is that you can scale higher. So instead of plus two, you can get plus three. So technically you can get a little more damage. That's the only thing, but it doesn't, you know, it goes straight through oh, magic resist. So, I mean, sure has gotta be better. Yeah, yeah, well, we're not PDR or anything, so we're going to get hit pretty hard here. Okay, so the only issue with this build is rogues are a lot scarier. So, like, in this instance where I know there's a player there because I just heard them kill a bat, if I just run through there and it's a rogue and they hit me in the back, I'm dead. Like, I'm actually dead. There, there, that is, like, a big downside to this build is I think it's weaker against rogues. Which might not be a great thing to be running right now, because right now I feel like there's a lot of rogues playing this game. But, we're doing it anyway. Because normally, I, if I was a warlock, I'd push that. I don't care if there's a rogue. They'll just hit, they'll hit me with, they'll hit my dark reflection and they'll be halfway dead. And you'll hit them with one crystal sword swing and they'll be full dead. So I don't really care about rogues as much on warlock, but I do care about them on cleric. Especially if they have silence, because there's nothing I can do if they silence me. I'm actually probably just dead. 
No, Judgment is the same as um, Smite is. I don't think there's any location modifier. It should always deal the same exact damage. Uh, it's glowing because of Faithfulness, which increases your total damage by 15%. Which, now that I'm realizing that additional doesn't scale with the percentage, I'm realizing that it's not as good as I thought it was. So that's... I mean, I don't know. Do what you will with that info, I suppose. Just trying to keep an eye behind me because I know there was that rogue. Yep, there he is. You see him crouch walking? I see his ass. I see him. There was a rogue. I told you there was a rogue there. That's what this game is now. These goddamn rogues creeping around the entire map. <laughs> Not just rogue, but everybody. Honestly, being safe against that like being safe and not pushing that dark hallway probably saved my life because that rogue probably would have killed me most likely would have killed me what do you mean by addition doesn't scale according to the wiki uh well the wiki is fan made and iron mace doesn't affiliate with it so who knows as far as that goes the wiki still says that you can go up to 93 percent magic resistance and well i'm gonna give you a hint that's not true it hasn't been true in a very long time the way, so the wiki, I wouldn't trust the wiki necessarily. Just, uh, this isn't completely accurate. Hmm. I'm just a little worried about that rogue. I wonder if he has cutthroat. He probably does. Every rogue has cutthroat, right? Damn. How do I stop cutthroat rogue? Ah, shoot. Is he... Probably another rogue, right? Are you even here? Hmm. Are you gone? I don't know. He could be gone. I could also walk down and get rogued. <laughs> so take your pick. Take your pick. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Is there a rogue down here? I don't think there is. I think he's gone. I'm gonna shut the door. So if I see it open, I know he's there. Bro, got a gold chest and dip? Maybe. The dead body? Oh, you know what? There's a dead body here, so maybe they've already done fought and been done. Maybe I should do invis pots. That could work out with this build. Get some... Dude, this, this is actually a pretty good build with invis pots. You hit them with a judgment and they're just dead. I also have torches too for range if I need them. Uh, this is a so um, this entire build is based on movement speed and magic damage. <laughs> I, I'm like hyper aware right now, just focusing. I'm still just worried about these rogues because I think I saw like four of them in pre lobby. Four of them, but no warlocks, I think. I walked right past the rogue. Nah, are you serious? There was a rogue. I walked past him. Oh my god, are you serious? God damn it! Really? Shit. Might have missed that one. I passed him. Oh well, he's probably gone now. He's gone now, boys. He's definitely gone. Hey, face eater. How you doing, man? Unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do here. This is a super quiet match. We have one rogue creeping around the map that was like 50 feet behind me and then ran the moment I saw him. And then we have, well, 
I really thought that guy was gone. I wonder if I should go back down there. He's probably gone by now, right? I feel like it's a waste of time if I do. Hard to say. I don't know if he's gone or not. door is still closed but did he reclose it i don't understand where you guys saw him because i thought i was looking pretty well i didn't see nothing i think i just play that right i guess he was fast as hell well that's a good start uh-uh <laughs> that's not a good start i just died. i just got killed real fast i couldn't even i didn't even have time to pot he was at me so quick uh-oh that's not a good start <laughs> uh-oh that's not good too many rogues he dies if i'm playing warlock he's dead just say so if I'm playing Warlock, that's a free kill. I even tried to pot. It just, it was too slow. Uh-oh. I, I don't want to go back to my Warlock Overlord, but I'm going to keep trying. And the only people I saw the entire game was rogues. If all I see is rogues, this is a bad build. <laughs> so I'm not really sure what to do here. All right, well, I guess we'll try again. <laughs> really scary, though, that we're not seeing anything but rogues. Really scary. <laughs> A little bit. lost a pdr I, that's a skill issue though that's that's actually a skill issue now rogue isn't bad i don't know why people are still saying rogue is bad so here's the problem in this current meta okay this build is actually pretty good against warlock but my god is it so bad against rogue and there are so many rogues in every game and you can't run from them because they're too fast so it is it is a problem <laughs> it is it is a problem and i'm not sure how to solve that problem yet I guess I shouldn't have tried to repot. I thought I had enough distance, but I absolutely did not have enough distance. Because, like, if I get a judgment off first and foremost on that rogue, he's probably dead. But I thought I had enough distance to pot, and I just did not. By the time I... Maybe it's my dexterity is too low. I'm used to playing with higher decks. Maybe that's it, right? Well, yeah. Well, it's funny, Dell. If I'm playing Warlock, he's dead. He's absolutely just done. I don't think Divine Protection's better. Because there's a lot of magic damage right now. It's not good against Warlock, right? Warlock does like 85% magic damage. So I don't really think so. Also, Cutthroat Rogue already kills this build anyway. So without judgment, what, what the hell are you going to do to a Cutthroat Rogue? They'll just kite you and kill you anyway. They'll just they'll kite out your whopping 4 second ability. And you'll just kind of call it a day and you'll be dead. GG. It might be good against Locke, but it's not good enough against Warlock. Warlock is way, way, way too good to be doing that. If I'm going to do that, I'll just play Warlock. Divine Protection Cleric is just worse than Warlock. I don't know why I wouldn't just do that. At least this build has, like, some amount of, like, range that Warlock doesn't have. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna be honest. I thought I had enough time to blue pot there. He got to me any he, he got to me so so fast. 
Like that blue pot, I felt like it took like an, an entire year to activate. Maybe it's because I don't have as much all stats as I had before. Yeah, you know what? It's true. I don't have all stats on my legs, which does make a difference. Didn't really think about that, but that probably made a big difference in that fight. Because you're right. If I have judgment and I'm ready to fight him, I think he's dead. In theory, judgment and smite should should kill most players. That's the that was the idea of the spell. There's two players in here already. God damn. Yep, there's already two players in there. Well, I don't want to get third party, so I might wait a second. Really early for two players to already be around now. Also, that big open room, I think bards would just kite me to death. I think I need smaller spaces. Dude, this is open. Didn't expect this. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Dell, I don't, I don't even know if he pushes me at all. If I don't pot there, it's hard to say. I didn't think he'd push, man. I really didn't. Caught me off guard. Most rogues are like super scared and like won't fight you. They're like allergic to getting a melee range. They'll kite you forever with a bow. I'm like one of the only rogues that I ever see actually fight me in melee. Looks like, because that's what I like to do. Wow. This build seems really bad. Because I, I barely killed him. I know there's a uh, healing shrine. I'll healing shrine instead. Because I aggroed that. Probably quicker anyway. Yeah, dude, that was... I wonder if he's I wonder if he's geared or if this build just sucks. It's one or the other. Take your pick. I'm not sure. That makes me feel like this build might be uh See that one coming. Oh, he's geared. Thanks. Hey, look, his gear is probably more valuable than my gear. Look at that. Oh, if we can get out of this game, we'll be rich. Rich and powerful. Yeah, like this guy has a really good kit. No joke. This this kid is heat. This kid he has is disgusting. Plus Bar didn't have nothing. Uh, it's time to go, fellas. It's time to leave. My guy had all max damage everything. Like, we gotta go. I'm about to sit in a corner all game and wait for a static. You think it was Bar loot? I don't know. It doesn't really matter, though. I gotta get out of this game. I didn't check bard. Wait, did I touch a ranger? Wait, I didn't loot the bard? Wait, are you serious? Wait, did I... Hold up. Oh, shoot, you're right. Oh my god, you guys are smart. Shit. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, uh... Uh... Um... Um, uh... Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh uh um okay <laughs> okay 
All right. Thanks. Thanks. I was I thought he looted it or something. I was confused. Face mask is bad. Really? No, it doesn't have damage on it, so it's probably not worth. This is movement speed, it's pretty good. It, it, dude, I can't, dude, this game is insane. I can't grab anything else, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm like, everything I have is really, really good, guys. And I also need to be careful not to get snuck up on. All of my gear I have is really valuable. Rape yourself fast. Take the all chest. What do I drop for it, dude? Two magic protection stacks. That's what I thought. That's a really good shadow mask. I feel like you're tripping. Boots in two pots. Drop these. Oh, I could drop these. Since it's worth more. I think this shadow mask is worth a good bit of money. It isn't? Okay. Maybe I won't grab it then. Cheapest rapier. Oh, the stats were pretty bad. It's only 30 roll too, not even 31. I think 31's cap, right? Maybe I'll- I might just stick with this, or I'll drop the, um... Drop the plus 5. Grab the rapier and the boots. Yeah, I think that's... Oh, I could have dropped this. Alright, I think this is good, fellas. Three vig, four... That's what I thought, dude. That's what I thought, but... I think, I think you guys are lying to me. I think it might even be better than the adventure boots with only three speed. People are looking for five speed, not three. Honestly. I'm just gonna do it. God, if I die on the way to this exit, I'm gonna be really sad. This is good enough, guys. I have so much actual gear on me, it's not even funny. I literally have a million gold worth of gear. Alright. I'm gonna just chill. I'm gonna camp my ass off for... A minute until this i this is guy this is so much gear this literally makes up for the death i had last game times like five my my gear sets for cleric by the way i want to say i spent about 2k gold for that last kit going around 2k this is easy more than 2k oh dude staff just staff master on cleric would be amazing that rogue fumbled so hard if he just committed when i hit smite he would have killed me all we had to do is commit and I was dead. And he didn't. He got scared because he heard Smite. And he backed away. He never thought I had uh, Judgment. That Judgment hit him for 70 damage. Yeah, he never would have thought. Alright, come on, gate. Please open so I can get out of here. This is insane. Please. <laughs> Appreciate it. Stop moving. It's a habit. It's a habit. Uh. <gasps> oh man that was insane that is so much goddamn gear that we just got from that game jesus christ do you guys have any idea how much gold i just made from that run that is insane <laughs> that is stupid amounts of gear Two plus all chest pieces. Look at this vigilant cloak. That's insane. It's like bis roll. And it even has damage reduction if you're going for armor. 
five movement speed and two dex, three damage, two health. That's like a bit shadow mask. Two two all loose trothers. Damage, damage. That's kind of bad. Two all damage. Plus all and armor. Yeah, this was insane. This is just stupid. <laughs> I had no right to get that much gear from that game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that cloak by itself is more money than my entire kit. That's hilarious. There you go, fellas. There you go. I knew I could do it. I knew I could play something other than um, Warlock. It just it just took two close call fights. Two, two fights that I think I won by like 5 HP. <laughs> GG's, man. That was really close. I'm going to try to get some of this uh, stuff sold. At the very least, I'm going to get rid of some of my cheap cleric gear that I used to use. Honestly, that might be better. Oh, that's like the same as that other one. Do Greathounds even still sell? Do people even care about these anymore? I imagine Trio Clerics probably do, right? I would think so. This one's really good too. Like surely they have to care about these. I just don't know how much they'd be willing to pay. I'm just, I'm just selling whatever random stuff I can sell. I, I, I just, I need space. I know I'm going to run out of it really quick. So I, I think this cheaper stuff usually sells a little quicker. Although I don't know if I'm overcutting this stuff or not. Oh, that was almost a misclick. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just got to see if it sells. Hey, so we just got off work. <laughs> yeah, man. We just had a really good game. I think I just made the last game I played. I think I just made over 10k gold. It might even be closer to 15. Honestly, if if that wasn't a 15k gold run, I would be surprised. It, it might be really damn close with all those additional damage rings too. Honestly, I, I think it might be, truly. Which is nuts. <laughs> which is just stupid nuts. But I'll take it. Never deserved it anyway. For trying to cheat me out of that kill. Good thing I didn't surge, Kit. Good thing I did the healing shrine. Who knows? Maybe he runs in there and kills me. You never know. Yeah, Sweezy, you missed the insane kill. Just stupid. Dude, honestly, that game is probably enough to be its own YouTube video. But it's not really enough content. But it, it's still kind of... It's still just really... I'm just... I'm just... I'm baffled by how much gear I just got from that game. Just can't believe it. Can't believe we killed two geared it makes more sense now why those fights were so close like that barb was juice too makes a lot more sense now why he didn't die before that all right well uh maybe we can do it again huh maybe probably not but we'll try <laughs> yeah yeah i'm pretty much going for all movement speed and additional magic damage that's like every piece of gear i have is either move speed or uh magic and then i have plus all of my vestments <laughs> Tell you what, most people are not going to expect the smite judgment. You know what I think? You know what I think it is? I think there's a lot of clerics that are running the divine protection perk in that rogue. Maybe he got scared that I also used that and he thought that I was going to be like invincible. So he backed away, but I don't have it. So when he saw that, he probably assumed that he was safe because he was throwing stuff at me and while he wasn't safe because i had 70 damage judgment from my staff he there's no way he could have known i had that you know i appreciate it uh i don't know how to say your name but i i don't know if i'm the best cleric player but like solo but i don't know i just try to find builds that work because it just feels so bad uh, judgment damage on dummy. I tested it the first game. It was like 72, I believe. So it should be around that same point. 
Oh, you were the bard, Kira? GG, man. GG. I didn't realize you were the bard. Sorry, I think I, like, glanced over your chat. Why advanced healer? You know, that's a good question. I guess I could replace that for damage on my war maw. I mean, really, it just, help for, it just helps for pot, so I probably shouldn't take it. Yeah, that's probably a good question. I should probably replace it for war maw damage, now that you mention it. Wasn't really thinking about it. It was just my, it was just what my perks were before. Dude, cutthroat rogues are the worst. If that rogue had cutthroat, I might have died. But he had rupture instead, which was a saving grace for me. Aura? Nah, aura's not worth it. It's such a minimal benefit, I think. You know what I think happened, guys? That first game I died. I think it was the game's way of getting me into that next lobby quicker so I could get more profit by dying than if I would've killed that rogue. Cause you know that rogue did not have as much gear as th those two bodies did. And I would never have gotten that fight in if I didn't die. So you know what? Maybe Dark and Darker just had its way, you know? That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Well, I'm not doing caster cleric. We're doing a uh, we're doing full skill cleric, which is questionable at best, but I'm doing it anyway. Uh, these are pretty bad. Oh man, I don't play ice caves. I uh, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> couldn't tell you. Brandon, you already missed a, you already missed a really crazy game. I think I got enough money to buy like, like seven of my kits that I'm currently running or something dumb. Oh dude, when I was offline, I found a purple pendant on this bench. So FYI, check this bench because it actually has good, it's like the same kind of thing as the, um, the uh, centipede spawn. You know, like the where the ring can spawn. I had no idea it existed, but yeah, there's a there's there is actually a spawn there. So. Grab her down here and you pass it. There you go. Yeah, Brandon, you'll see it later. Yeah, you know the bots always like anyway. I think my war is pretty slow right now. Swinging wise, not that it matters like too much. Your first legendary gem? Oh, you mean from the uh, the horde pile? Very nice, very nice. Sheesh! That's a necklace of peace. Pretty good. Add that to the pile, huh? Good and meta are not the same. Yeah, I would not call this build meta, just to be clear. This build might be like good. Asterisk, asterisk, something, something, but it ain't meta. Warlock's meta for solo. That one's been through here. Yeah, that is some pretty good juice in it. So, you know, I gotta make it out of this game alive though. That Then that's a coin toss. Bow for warlock. I think, I think for solos, honestly, it might. Oh, someone's been through here. It might be the build that I've been running. Hello. Wait, he ran. Barb isn't gonna fight me. 
Oh, wait, is he gonna fight me? Should have just swung. Oh my god, I goofed up so bad there. Wait, he didn't take any damage. Oh, we're not winning that. That guy, it, we weren't winning that. That's we, we were never winning that fight. Yeah, we we lose that no matter what. <laughs> yeah, we lose that no matter what. That that's just a that's a that's a that's the that might be a class diff right there. I yeah, I didn't realize. Yeah, that was insane. That dude, that's why it's such crazy. I didn't think the range was that crazy. I thought for sure he'd be one shot. I was like, yeah, I'll just throw a torch at him and it'll be dead. That dude just ate completely. Jesus, dude. That was insane. Yeah, rip the necklace, dude. God damn. I cannot believe how much health he had left. That's insane. Ah, uh, shoot. Do I gotta... I do have to buy more stuff. Damn it. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, dude. I That was insane. Dude, I had so much health. After that. I was like, yeah, he's gotta be low. I thought he was gonna... I thought he was full running. I didn't think he was gonna turn around and fight. I thought he was gone. I thought he was like one shot. You know? Never would I have expected him to be that high HP at that point. I guess I could have played that better. I I really did not expect that. Truly. Whale shoots. The more... <laughs> hey man, it is what it is. I'll, keep, I'll have to keep it in mind for next time I fight a Barbarian. I I just didn't expect him to tank that much. I really didn't. And then his, his dude, his Y range was insane. Do you see that range? Jesus, that was some crazy range, dude. Yeah, I got baited hard when he started running. I thought for sure he was gone. I didn't think there was any chance that he turned around to fight me at all. Yeah, I didn't think there was any chance he ever turns around there. Dude wasn't even close to dead. He had more than half. Yeah, he was he was a healthy man. Yeah, he wasn't even close. Also, I, I'm so I'm, I'm still kind of off put or not off put, but I'm still it catches me off guard when barbarians move full speed while swinging a two handed weapon. I'm not used to it because most people don't even play barb at this point or use two handeds at all. But I, I need to keep that in mind, too, that they just kind of move full thrust forward. So I needed to back away more than I did. He just caught me off guard. All right, well, it's okay. It is what it is. Oh, well. <laughs> Could have played that better, I suppose. We'll have to play better this game. Damn, Sunrise, did you really die to a rogue with that warlock, with the warlock here? It's unlucky, man. Yeah, that was a, that was a really, really good warlock build, or a barbarian build. I, I was not expecting him. I think he was way better geared than me. I think someone said he had a Grim Smile ring, so his, his total gear was probably way better than mine. I just, I was not expecting that. I mean, it's a little my fault. I just, I really thought, I mean, I, I just really thought he, I thought he was dead. I'm gonna be honest. I thought he had like 20 HP between the smite hit and the judgment. I was like, yeah, he's like one shot. I'll throw, I'll, he's gonna run. I'll throw my torches and he'll die. I didn't expect him to turn around like that and then lunge forward with that Zwy and still hit me. That caught me off guard big time. Now, I would love to fight this guy. Yeah, PDR fighters are okay. They're very rare to find at this point. Oh, I did forget to change Mace Mastery. True. Well, do it now. No, I could have won that. If I kept more distances, if I kept more distance, I think I could have beat that barb. Or at the very least, I wouldn't have died. 
I could have continued to chase. I think there was a way to play that better. I just, I was not prepared for the Barbarian. Uh, I was not prepared for his HP pool. It's worth noting, I think I lose that fight if I'm Warlock. I actually think that Barbarian 100% kills my Warlock. So I'd rather lose my 2k Cleric kit than my very decent Warlock kit. So, oh well, what are you going to do? <laughs> Maybe I should have used my war mole against him instead. Yeah, you know what? Do I? Maybe I put on physical. Maybe I put on the uh, blunt weapon mastery and I use war mole for barbs. That's got to be the play, right? Yeah, that's what I'll do. That's probably the better play, because war mole also slows people down when you hit them. I think I think that could work. Use the staff for judgment if possible. But if I can't do it, it's okay. But just try to focus on just getting the damage with them all. I think that I think that'll work. I just need to get that perk, the 10% uh, damage perk, and get rid of this uh, advanced healer. Yeah, this is a pretty like most of the time when I make like random builds like this, I usually do off stream games first because there's a lot of things I learn like matchup wise. For example. Uh, maybe barbarians i don't use the staff i use the war mall so like that death if i took it off stream i might win that fight instead if i had another chance to fight him but you know it's part of the learning process it is what it is because i genuinely might have been able to kill him if i was using the war mall once he got slowed down it's very possible Yeah, I think I, I I I just misjudged, man. It's been so long since I fought a barbarian on um on a cleric. It just it's been so long since I've had to do that matchup, so that kind of caught me off guard a little bit. It's okay though. I expected to die this stream. Nah, dude. PDR fighter, you want the staff because you want them. You want really good damage with the with the uh, smite staff. The war mall is there for mobs, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking it might be good for barbarians because of the magic resistance. Barbarian is the only class in the game that can resist cleric magic damage. There's no other class in the game that does it. So, you know, there's that. Because warlock doesn't counter it. It's, you know, everything but cleric magic damage, which is interesting, right? So. So yeah, I, I really should consider that for future barbs. Where did the guy who looted this go? Huh. Interesting, I have no idea. Hey, should get up. How you doing, man? Brave Remaster? Hmm. I mean, I guess I could. Wait, no, why would you use Brewmaster? Just use uh, Bolt of Mastery. It's just better. Yeah, why would you use Brewmaster? That doesn't even make sense. It's it. They, they both increase your damage by 10%, right? So Bolt of Mastery is just better. It just doesn't require a perk or uh, an ale. What's that for? Oh, it's for smite. For smite and judgments. Judgment deals more damage when you use a staff, and smite does pretty good damage with a staff, too. Do you guys think I should walk around with the war mall instead of the staff because of rogues? Do you think I could possibly kill a rogue with a war mall? If I get caught off guard and get cut through, is it possible? I mean, it's got to be more likely than using a staff, right? Spam heal? You don't. The ill brewmaster doesn't heal you. It just gives you some strength. You're think. You're thinking of bard. Too slow. It is pretty slow. It's very very slow. But it does have the. It is really good slow though. It's true. It's true. Someone died here. There's a potion like sound or something. Or some or someone's been here at least. There's a the glitch sound is here.
Okay. Interesting. So someone has been here. They checked troll and then they left. With Brewmaster, you gain 17 strength. Cool. I mean, yeah, but then I gotta use ales instead of just pulling out my, you know, instead of just pulling out my mall and it's just done. I guess maybe, maybe it's better, but I don't know. I think, I think just always having the damage, even for like mob clearing too, would be good. For leveling? Well, just know that if you're gonna do troll farming, you're gonna get third party a lot. What the? Why are you guys just chilling? This is messed up. Yeah, this is wild. Why are there. Oh, <clears throat> God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> There's just so many rogues today! God damn it! <laughs> There's so many rogues! Oh my lord, have mercy! If I didn't hit the wall, he's dead. Creeping creeper, dude. God damn it. Mother, God damn it. <laughs> Oh my god, these rogues are killing me, man. If I'm Warlock, he's dead. God damn it. <sighs> Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I not playing Warlock? You see? Do you see what I'm doing? By not playing the superior class. I'm just throwing, I'm just throwing myself into the meat grinder. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Y'all better remember this stream. That's all I'm gonna say. Sitting here literally just throwing away gold. At least that's what it should be happening, ex except I got really lucky on that one game. So I guess I'm not down gold, but... Yeah, you're, you're actually trolling if you don't play Warlock right now. In my humble opinion. Well, rip my back up here. Alrighty, well, we're just going through this real well, aren't we? Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. I love it. All right, what web mastery it is. Cannot believe I hit that goddamn wall. That wall screwed me so bad. Who knows, maybe I win that fight if I don't hit the wall. It's very possible, to be honest with you. Rogues becoming meta? Dude, rogues never went away. Everyone has been... The amount of people that I've seen crying that rogues are not strong. I swear, I swear they know they're good. They just cry so they don't get nerfed or something. I, rogues have been good, guys. Rogues are... I literally played... I played rogue the other day. Rogue is good. I don't know where this, like... I don't know where this random, like, hate for saying rogue sucks has been. But they're, they're not bad. They kill you very fast, and Cutthroat is a really good ability. I, I I genuinely don't know why everyone keeps saying Rogue is bad. I don't get it. It's it's actually really strong. At least I think it's good. When I play Rogue, I feel like I'm pretty good at killing players. So I I, I don't know. I don't I don't understand it. We're like in like one big conspiracy, where like all the Rogue mains know that Rogues are good, but none of the Rogue mains want to admit that they're good because they want to keep actually being really strong. I mean, look at- I haven't seen a single warlock today! Where the hell are the warlocks? It's all rogues! What am I doing? Why am I playing this class? I literally- I'm playing cleric because I wanted to counter warlocks and there's no warlocks! Where are they? Hello? Hello? 
Where are the... Where are the warlocks? What am I doing? I don't understand. There's no wizards either. It's just it's just fighters and rogues. And and barbs, I guess. Oh man, oh man. It's crazy. Yeah, there's no there's no warlocks <laughs> what where are the why am i playing this where are the warlocks i don't understand okay all right i guess i'm being trolled or something i don't understand guys i'm not kidding every lobby i'm not kidding when i play my pdr fighter we more like got nerfed yesterday after the nerf i was seeing warlocks in half my lobbies I'm telling you, like every other player was a warlock. It has nothing to do with the nerf. I think I'm just I don't I think I'm just getting like unlucky or something. I guess. If I was I'm not kidding. If I was playing my PDR fighter build, this would be smooth sailing. I could kill all these players with my PDR fighter build. Because it's made for these players. This this class is not made to fight rogues and farms. I'm being I'm being like class dipped here. It's so sad. Yo, Warlock's so good for solos. It's so good for solos. Why do you think I ran Warlock for six hours and didn't die a single time? See, it's not because it's bad. I tell you what. I didn't run- I didn't literally just rampage the dungeon without dying. Because it's a bad class. The problem with Cleric is that because of the creep change, it is a lot easier for people to creep up on you. And Cleric needs to know that you're coming. Or you just kind of fold and die. And I really don't want to swap off Cleric and like admit defeats. But oh my God, is it, it, is, it is a little frustrating playing Cleric in, uh, in solos now. What the what? Okay. This is how I died last time. There were like there were like four mobs all sitting here and then I got killed by a rogue. I know, that's exactly what happened last time. There were all these mobs like right here and then a rogue killed me right on that corner. I'm gonna assume he's going for troll. You know, I do want to say, I think if I was playing Caster Cleric, these games wouldn't be going any better. Is he running instantly? He's just running. Why? Why does everyone do this? Why does no one ever fight me? Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a win last. That's a win last. You know that thing will one shot me, right? If that win last hits me, I think I'm dead. Uh oh. Are the Slayer Windlass players coming out of the is that what's happening? Is that is that what the is that like the new hot build? Has is a streamer going around saying that Slayer Windlass is like the, the go-to? Even though it just got nerfed? Oh no 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 no. Solo cleric ain't it, fellas. I'm playing it for fun, but it ain't it. It ain't it at all. I, I feel like I'm gonna get headshot through the uh through that door. Is it the is it the war? Is that is that why everyone's playing uh, Slayer Fighter with one last? Is that it? Yeah, yeah, no. If I was playing Caster Cleric, I wouldn't have even won that uh, that that game that I won. You know, the big money game I got. I wouldn't have even won that fight because I I would have just died because I don't have time to cast spells. Yeah, when last is pretty disgusting. Oh, you just 
this creep with a windlass and one shot people? That sounds fun. <laughs> oh man, I know. I know. Fun for fun for you guys, not for me. I did this because I just wanted to see if it would work. And I'm realizing that there's too many rogues for it to work. But I would be I would feel like I'm admitting defeat if I were to swap off this class already. What, I'm gonna stream for an hour and then quit off cleric already? What? what, what, what? Come on, that, that's- I mean, I feel like a quitter. Although I'm tempted. I'm real tempted with these lobbies. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Am I gonna get windlass head tapped here? I feel like I might. Dude, I just know it. I know it's coming. If I get creep, windlass, headshot, I'm gonna be very sad. kidding me dude this is so bad <laughs> this is so bad why is this not working and he's dead and he's dead i would have been dead anyway to a rogue why is this not working i hit him with so many things <laughs> why is this not working why is this so bad this is so bad this guy's dead too I would have died to the rogue. Even if I beat this guy, I would have died. Ain't no way. I cannot believe. I hit him with two judgments. I hit him with like two torch throws, and I still didn't kill this guy. This is insane. Hold up. Where's the rogue? That's chasing this guy. Yeah, this guy would have killed me anyway, dude. Cleric is just Donzo. I'm sorry, guys. It's done. Cleric's done, fellas. I tried. I, I really tried, guys. I I really, really tried. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry. Cleric just ain't it anymore. It's done. I, I made a lot of I made a lot of gold in that second game. But this ain't it, fellas. This This ain't it, man. It's <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> this ain't it. Oh man, oh man, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Oh my god, what do we do? Do we play fighter? Oh, I just wanted to- I wanted a break from the warlock gameplay, man. Oh my god, I just wanted a break from warlock. Because I know it's good, I just didn't want to play it. And, and holy strike's so useless, I can't use it. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Am I gonna play- Am I gonna play my fighter build and then run into a warlock? You guys want to see some you guys want to see some fighter i think i think we're gonna have to do some fighter fellas i'm sorry i tried i really tried i i really did it, it is such a frustrating class to play solo i can't do it iron mace just killed it i can't do it i can't do it i'm sorry don't blame me blame these goddamn updates i tried man i really tried <laughs> I'll be back in a minute, and then we're gonna swap to a uh, fighter. I'll update the titles too.
all right i'm back no i'm not stressed i'm just i just it just sucks man i i, I like solo cleric man they just they, what am i supposed to do pdr cleric was like the best variant of cleric but holy strike has gotten such a nerf now that i don't even want to play it and then the spell casting speed has been reduced significantly it's just i don't know what i don't know what to do all right i'm gonna uh i'm gonna edit my thumbnail my uh, titles real quick and we're gonna play some pdr fighter i'm sure we're gonna run into a warlock instantly and die in which case i'm gonna want to alt f4 out of this game because i've seen no warlocks today <laughs> i know it's coming you boys know it's coming right you're kidding yourselves if you don't think I'm going to run into a warlock instantly as soon as I start playing this class. We all know it's coming, but we'll try anyway. Alright, titles have been changed, right? All right. Yep. Titles have been changed. Yep. Giga Juice Spellcaster Warlock incoming. Oh, I know it's coming, fellas. I'm about to get just trashed by a warlock because this build is is this build is hard countered by Crystal Sword Warlock. Actually hard countered. So I'm I'm a little scared. I'm gonna be honest, but we'll try it anyway. Even though I'm dumb, <laughs> I'll try it anyway. <laughs> okay. All right. Well. Uh, good luck. Yep. Good luck. Now, do I need anything? I'll bring some extra heals. I don't know. Alright. Are we good? I, th I think. it's It's been a while since I played this, but yeah, we should be, like, good to go, I think. Alright. Let's do it. All the streams. That, yeah, I guess that's true. If you, if, you if you snipe me with Warlock, you'll probably kill me. Oh, here we go. Warlock number one. Not juice though. Fighter? I can do fighter. Okay. Rogue. Door. I can kill I can kill an ungeared warlock. What what is my speed again? It's been a while. 109. You would have to do so much damage with a bow before considering fighting. Oh, yeah. Warlocks, I'm telling you, man. Crystal Sword Warlocks, fighting them in melee is not an option for this build. I I was ready to retire this fighter build, but I just wanted a break from Warlock. I, yeah, I could, go, I could bring back my Warlock build and probably do pretty well, unless I get unlucky, and I don't know. I guess I die to, like, a Cutthroat Rogue or something, but... I mean, I don't know. I ran that Warlock build for six hours and I didn't die. So <laughs> I think I've already proven that it's a really good build. And I think that hour of Cleric Hell has proven that it is not a good build. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough. I just wanted to have fun today. I just wanted to have some fun, play some Cleric, have some laughs, and we'd be done. Not today, though. I tried. Don't you dare tell me I didn't try for you all, though. That's all I can say. I tried my best. I don't think I could have... I honestly don't know if I could have done those games any better than I did. I'm lucky to have even won one game with that build. Honestly. At least I have the magic protection potions. Maybe I should bring multiple stacks, honestly. Bring, like, two stacks of them, since that's, like, my big downside match. I don't know if it'd just be like a waste, but... Bars with gear and two-hander. Yeah, that's like one of the probably biggest counters. There's not a lot of barbs right now. Do you think barbs are coming out of the woodwork because of the warlocks? It's possible. Honestly, that might even be why. Now that I'm thinking about it out loud. Maybe. I mean, it is like the counter. It makes sense for counter goals to come out when they're when a class becomes really really popular, and I think there were quite a few crystal sword warlocks kind of coming out of the uh, out of the woodwork. I 
I shut doors behind me now because I'm using the curse change. Yes, this build usually beats barbs. I will say a felling axe barb with armor penetration can kill this build very, very fast if you misplay. It happened to me once off stream. I was very sad. Dude, like, dude, two. I think he two shot me. He had all, like, he had like all armor pen with a felling, and I got obliterated. Basically. I've never died as fast uh, against a barb than that guy killed me. It was really, really scary. Yeah, I've learned to close doors so I don't get stuck up on. It, it's better to oh, leave doors open. At least it used to be for like an escape route, but yeah, now I do it because I don't want to get crept on. I can only check behind me like 18 times. I mean, it's going to be the 19th time that I usually get killed. Misplay issue? Well, he hit me with a killy strike, two bits. So I got hit by a killy strike and then I couldn't move and he just kind of walked up and two tapped me with the felling. I just, I just, uh, yeah, I, I just, it, I, I got caught off guard as well. So yeah, like I did misplay, but it doesn't change that he did it. Alright, one did spawn here. Interesting that this is looted, but that door is, maybe he shut it. Honestly, rogues are in a pretty okay spot right now. I would go as far as to say that rogues are a really, really good pick for solo right now, personally. He's not gonna fight me, is he? Didn't use my adrenaline, but it's fine. I, I don't know why I was in like, I was in second wind mode. Cause I've been using a lot of second wind on fighter. It's okay, I mean, it doesn't matter. God, I miss this build. I love this build so much. This is like my favorite build right now. It's just not meta because of these warlocks, but I do love it. I think it's fun. Well, fun for me. I don't know if it's fun for other players, but. Time to do some creeping. You're a player. Is that a warlock? That is a warlock. Although I don't think the warlocks were geared in this game, but. Okay, well, <laughs> okay, that worked out way better than I thought it would. Okay, GG, sir. Anyway, uh, we should check troll. Yeah, might as well. Never know. Yeah, you know what I like about Survival Bell? True damage means you can kind of just hit someone wherever you want and they'll still take good damage. Kind of nice. Yeah, I know the action speed kill is good with Survival Bell. Oh, that was why, that was a big reason I swapped over to it. Uh, Longbow is too slow. It's all about moot. So ever since they changed the PDR uh, cap from 85 to 75%, the meta has very quickly changed back. Now that everybody's also running armor pen and uh, true damage, armor's not like top dog like it was in the last like patch. So everyone's back to running like speed and damage and whatever, whatever. 
So survival bow uh, kind of fits all those category checklists because it's fast and true damage makes it does makes it do really good damage. Does that makes sense. Basically, the meta has swapped. Uh, the meta before was you could just be like a big dumb tank and it would work, but the PDR shift has has just changed things a lot. Things have changed. They are not the same anymore. Dude, goofed up big time. Yeah, that don't work on this build, buddy. If I'm cleric, I'm dead there. I ain't a cleric. I can defend myself against you goddamn slayer fighters. <laughs> Can't run for me. No running. Tried. Yeah, cannot run from this build. Why not recurve? Uh, cause survival bow just kind of shoots faster and I have a lot of true damage anyway. So figured I might as well do that, you know? Tell you what, this guy definitely did not, he even had a win last, he didn't even use it. The disrespect feels like disrespect. I want to grab this, um, this cloak. Alright, I think that's good enough. Well, he well he probably thought he caught me off guard. I mean, do you know? I don't see- people don't run this build anymore. This PDR build is like extinct. You know why? Because warlocks are everywhere and everyone's scared to run it because they feel like they're just gonna get insta-killed by the first warlock they see. Like, that genuinely is why I don't think people run this build. I heard that. It was a rogue. I know I just heard a dagger. I know I did. I'm not, I'm not stupid. I'm not deaf. hit a shot but it doesn't matter because my build counters his well, that's okay i'll take the i'll take the gear carry the class carry whatever couldn't hit that survival bow shot man Just kept whiffing That's some good gear. Some of it's pretty good.
<laughs> I swap from cleric and I get a four kill game instantly. Isn't that isn't that funny? Isn't isn't it just so funny how that works? How when I play like an actual good class slash build, it works out well for me. Crazy, right? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> totally unsurprising, right? Even killed a warlock too, although he wasn't geared. But you can't take that from me. He'll still still count it. All right, well, uh, good enough, huh? That's four kills. Time to go. Time to go. Hopefully. Oh, maybe I should just head for the static. What happens a lot, man? What happens when I don't play trash classes? I mean, I, I don't know what I have to do to prove to you guys that solo clerk sucks. <laughs> but I mean, it's not good, man. I don't die on cleric because I'm bad. I die on cleric because I'm playing a bad class. I'm losing the fights at the screen, at like the starting screen. I like, when you go to like the select the character menu and I choose cleric, I'm like accepting that I'm going to lose before the fights even start. It's so sad. So sad. I mean, I just had a really, really good game that I never would have had on cleric. Just, that's just it. That's the reality of it, man. It sucks, but whatever. It is what it is. Dude, you, I don't know how, I don't know, I know like a lot of you guys have probably been playing this game for a long time. Class diff is a real thing in solos and choosing the right class before you play, like before you go and play, you know, whatever you're going to play. It, it really does make a big difference, man. I, I, I can't express that enough. So like choosing to play like the wrong class for solos it really makes a big difference. And I say wrong class with asterisks because like, yeah, like you can play what you want. Just don't expect the games to always go like, you know, great for you or anything. Just give me a second. Let me just sell some stuff real quick. Just so I don't have like a super full inventory. Uh, what is it? Five and two agility. Agility's pretty good. Extra speed. Should sell for a decent amount. Although it's only cloth pants. Loose trousers just sell way, way better. I cannot wait for them to add double filters in the marketplace. I think... Okay, so that's way better than mine, and it's not selling. Uh, we'll do like one. That's probably fine. Should sell. Okay. Golden teeth sell yet? I know before they were worthless. Wow, these don't sell for like anything. Wow. Okay. I don't know. I'm not gonna hold on to it anymore. Fighter is solid. You yeah, know, fighter is really solid, man. It's just that there were so many warlocks that I was finding that it kind of felt like it wasn't worth playing at the moment. But I mean, fight they really are. Like fighters really are just a very all-around like good pick, I think, personally. I think Slayer Fighter might even be better, but I think this build is more fun, so I play it. But I do think it's worth noting that the Slayer Fighter with Windlass. It's possible that might just be better. So it's kind of up to you guys to decide which one you want to play. I never see anyone play. I don't see a lot of people play my build. I see a lot of people use Slayer right now. I think it really is. It, it really goes down to like the Warlock players.
spider six cell i mean i've had this for so long no idea if it does or not no it doesn't it doesn't sell at all i don't know i guess we'll just throw it up there and just see how it goes all right uh, let me grab some extra potions and i should be good to go i guess i did a quest oh look at that Ooh. i guess i i guess i should just use these potions yeah i guess that's fine we might as well use them if we have them right all right healing healing let me grab some extra bandages Uh, grab a coin bag, and I think we're good. I'll drink that in the dungeon. Oh, arrows. Jesus. <laughs> that would have sucked. That would have sucked big time if I forgot arrows. Too many Warlock Slayer Fighter. So everybody is probably best because of the Warlock players, to be real with you. But I played for an hour and a half, and I've seen no Warlocks, so I swapped to this build instead. Just Falchion, man. Yeah, no, Falchion's really good. I don't blame people for it. Falchion's just extremely strong. It makes sense that people kind of go to it. Uh, no, I am not using Dark Plate for this build. I'm using Dark Curace because it's just a really cheap alternative to a chess piece. In, I think the better one is probably the Fine Curace. But the bright side of the Dark Curace, even though it doesn't have the uh, bigger stat, is it is better move speed. So if you can find a Dark Curace with good sub stats, it's not bad. It's really not bad. It's not like the, it's not this, but it's usable. Can't play it without second win. I don't know, man. I, oh, I didn't mean to bring two surge. I guess it's whatever. It doesn't matter that much. I don't know, man. I think if you get used to it, you'll realize that you don't actually need second win to do well in solos. You don't need it if you build, if you make a build that's tailored towards speed. Genuinely, action speed's really good. It really is. Catches just people off guard big time. That looks like a crystal sword. Is that a crystal sword? No, that's a rogue. No, I, I don't think that was. You think you could make a viable magic resist build? Well, I already had a, a viable magic resist build, Soul Reaper. I made a uh, Iron Giant. That's what I called it, at least. I made the uh, magic resist Barbarian build, but I think it kind of got out meted. As soon as shields uh, got worse and they reduced the PDR and armor, it's a lot harder to build good stats on it. So I just kind of abandoned my Barbarian build and moved on to Fighter. Because it's because of the 10% extra armor you get, it's so much easier to build light and build good armor on fighter. Over fighter? Uh, I think maybe only with multi-classing. It's only worth building magic resist with iron will, I think, or using like the warlock perk for extra magic resist. I don't think it's worth building magic resist outside of that because you're just, it's such a waste of other stats. I, I wouldn't personally do it. Hey Fizzle, I appreciate that, man. Glad you like the content. Uh, I don't have a bot set up for uh for gear, Mayoku, but I am running a Rondel Dagger uh fire build. General idea of this is to basically be fast while also having high action speed and damage. So we're rocking like all dexterity type clothing and then we're running dark curace for armor and heavy gauntlets for armor and then we have true damage on pretty much every piece of gear as well this results in a very fast variant of a uh, fighter that can deal really good damage too that's a wizard I don't know what that guy was doing, but that is not how you play wizard. Like, I forgot he had spells, I guess. 
I'm not afraid of a wizard if they do that. <laughs> I don't know what that guy was doing, but that's not how you play it at all. Okay. Anyway. How much move speed do I have? Okay, so base move speed, I'm at 293. Uh, with dagger, I'm at 92%. But with sprints, I can get off to 109%, which is with dagger out, which is really strong. Well, the, he casted one spell and it was uh it was ignite. I don't think he knew I don't think he knew or something. You know, in that instance, survival bow was so much better than crossbow, although I think I would have killed him anyway, but he would have like two shot me if I meleeed him, but you just don't melee him, because that's not the not how you do it. Oh, I didn't grab my arrows back. Hold up. Let me do that real quick. I kind of forgot. I think I hit him most of the time, too. Yep, pretty much. Action speed. Well, I don't have a lot of health vigor. My health vigor is actually kind of low. Um, it's primarily focused on action speed, damage, and regular speed. But I do some uh, do some health, too. Yeah, this is one of my favorite builds in the game. It's just that warlocks have been bullying me. So I, I swapped over to warlock myself to bully them back. Hello? Hey, how many hours do I have? I think I have about 1500 hours on this game. Something like that. That body? Oh, I hear troll. I'm gonna check to see if the doors are closed. That's not closed. I'm gonna check the other door too. If the both doors are closed, I might be able to like rush in there. are hard unless you go 3k on a kit you don't need to spend 3k for a kit max i i very frequently will spend like 1 to 2k and we'll still do pretty well you really don't have to do that you just got to use off meta type gear if you're spending too much money yeah this has got to be a rogue right it sounds like a rapier i guess it could be a bard yes. probably not a ranger rangers don't Rangers very rarely do troll. Hey, Mixed Ranger. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Playing this build is so much more relaxing than Cleric. Cleric is so stressful. You gotta, like, worry about every goddamn corner. It's winnable, but it's really not something I should be fighting. I thought it was a rogue. Yeah, I can't fight that. You see how much damage that explosive did to me? Yeah, he hits me once and I'm dead. I'm not kidding. One one hit and I'm dead. I'm not kidding. Yeah, yeah, we can't do that. Yeah, if, if you're ever wondering why I don't play this build, that warlock is the reason. Yeah, I can't. I can't do that. Well, um, I gotta go find something else to do. I can't, I can't, I can't counter troll. How do you do, cause magic damage scales with explosive bottles. And this build doesn't have magic resistance, so it just gets clobbered. Yeah, if you ever wondered, yeah, that, that, that fight right there is like the reason I stopped playing this build. Basically to, you know, to be able to fight those kind of warlocks. He doesn't have to try at all to kill me. I have to kite him and just do, I would have to do so much work to kill that guy.
fucking kill him. I'm sure he had a lot of fun that place. I had a, I mean, I had a blast. Sorry, Logical. It wasn't bait. It wasn't bait. I was, I was playing uh, Cleric, but it sucks. So I stopped. That's why I changed the title. So you didn't get like super mega baited, just a little bait. Every time, every time I hit him, he lost a piece of gear. <laughs> That's so true. It's true. My man did just strip constantly, didn't he? That's so funny. He really did. I want to fight that warlock so bad, but I don't think I can. If I was Slayer Fighter, I could kite him around with the survival bow. I I am I'm so scared of warlocks, dude. This I'm terrified of them. I want to fight him so bad, I just don't think I can do it. Yeah, yeah, I stream two places. I stream on YouTube and Twitch. So if you look at the description of my Twitch, I should have my YouTube linked, and that's where I also do dual stream. Play some Slayer. I probably should, honestly, so I can actually fight Warlocks. It would be kind of nice to have more movement speed. But this build is so fun. I love this build. I just wish I didn't have to, like, turn around and U-turn every time I saw a robot. Yeah, 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 I know. I know some people prefer Twitch over YouTube, so that's why I do both. I know. Thanks, Fizzle. I'm not doing bosses. I, I was trying to counter a warlock that did boss. He threw one explosive bottle at me and I lost like 30% of my HP, so I ran away. So. Bloomsuck, should I even ask why you changed your name to, uh, to that? Should I even ask? Yeah, I think YouTube is a little lighter on streaming ads than Twitch is, but a lot of people like Twitch, so that's why I did both. I want to fight that warlock so bad. You guys have no idea. Like I'm, like, I'm sitting here like thinking like maybe I could kite him with survival bow, but it's such a bad idea because if he phantomizes and then catches up to me, I am actually dead. And I and he's probably faster than me too, like default speed. It's really scary. It sucks. I hate it. I hate not being able to fight somebody because of like my class. Oh, I think daggers are a blast. Cleric will be go at multi-classing? No, I think Cleric will be used to multi-class good classes. You're gonna use Cleric and you're gonna grab like Perseverance or Spells, and then you're gonna play an actual good class that doesn't suck. <laughs> I think that's exactly what's gonna happen. been the top solo class. People just like to complain. They were playable, but yeah. Now, now, now I just don't really, don't really 
I don't give Cleric too much credit anymore. The one saving grace for this build is that this build is countered by Cleric, and if there's no Clerics, then you don't have to worry about them. So, this build is better, but you still have Warlocks to deal with, and Warlocks are just an entity of their own right now. Portals. That's the wrong thing. Hey, that's uh, not terrible, I guess. I don't know. I, I feel like I can't do anything in this game. Should I just leave? I don't know. There could be another player that isn't the Warlock. What the? That was weird. You see that? I have a feeling the only person really left in this game is probably that Warlock player. It might make more sense to just reset this game. Kind of thinking about it. I have like every portal in the game here too, which is funny. That Warlock probably went to a static anyway, most likely. You were in my game, only melee. That's kind of what I figured. I'm just gonna leave then. It ain't worth it. Oh, he'll just phantomize into a portal. I can't kill this guy, can I? Yeah, yeah, right, right, because he'll just phantomize. I, I literally can't kill him. Yeah, never mind. I wasn't thinking about that. This dude would have shafted me. I'm not even kidding. This dude would have actually just ended my life. <laughs> no chance do I ever kill that Warlock player. No chance do I ever kill him. Yeah. Too, too good. Too strong. So, sorry. Sorry, fellas, but that's a no-go from me. Not a whole lot I can do there. On the, uh... Not a whole lot I can do there unless I also play Warlock. If I was on my Warlock, though, I would have loved to have fought him. Because I haven't, I haven't lost any Warlock 1v1s yet, so I would have liked my odds. Everyone's going to run Smite on every other class. Dude, Smite would be so good. Oh my god, Smite on like every class would be good. Smite's actually a really good ability. It's just held back by Cleric. <laughs> so yeah, just wait until every other class gets access. You're going to be... You're going to be very sad. You're going to be very sad indeed. When you realize how crazy it is on like man imagine like a ranger or something with smite on their bow or just anything man it's gonna be really scary Barbarian BOC. Well, no, because BOC, I think, is probably just worse than Smite. Smite is better. It's just that it's, again, it's just held back on Cleric. So if you can play with Smite on a good class that can shoot fast or hit fast, it'll be very strong. I don't know if Barbarian would want BOC. I think the answer to that is no. I don't think they would. I'm not really sure, though. I'm still baffled by how much damage that uh, explosive bottle did to me. I feel like I almost got one shot. <laughs> Just about almost got one shot there, which is super, super scary. How much magic healing do I run with new torture? Oh, I don't, I don't use new torture mastery. I don't use spells. I don't think, I don't think torture mastery in solos is worth it. I think it's better to just build magic damage and just use, uh, and just use a crystal sword with no spells. I think it's better, personally. 
You can do spells, but if you're gonna do spells, I still think it's better to not do magic healing. It's probably better to just hydrate with spells. You kind of, it's kind of up to you how you want to do it. That's what I'm thinking, yeah, Brandon. Imagine like Ranger with additional magic and smite. My hope is that no one's really playing Cleric and Ranger. Those are very polarizing classes. So it's gonna be very, very rare to ever see that, but it sounds game breaking and oh, Lord have mercy on my soul. I might be dead, fellas. <laughs> he doesn't have VOC, but it doesn't matter. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, goodbye, Kit. See you later. <laughs> Here they come. That's what happens as soon as I swap off of, uh... I played Cleric for an hour and a half and I saw zero Warlocks. And now they're in every one of my games. That's how it works, man. The only hope I have of killing him is praying he misses every spell and I land all of my shots. If he hits one Curse of Pain, I'm probably dead. Yeah, I mean, even if just meleeing him, I'll lose most of my health. Oh god, there's more. Another Warlock. Oh boy, oh boy. What are you gonna do? I can kill fighters. Like this guy here should be relatively easy, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty confident I can kill this guy. But yeah, the other people are not so much. Really screw it? Oh god, who knows, man. Who knows? Who knows? Next month? Two months from now? Next year? I don't know. I have no idea how close they are getting it. Try Ranger. And I just don't have any fun playing Ranger. I think Fighter's more fun than Ranger is. I like melee. I like melee classes more. I'll use range if I need to, but I don't want my entire class to be focused on nothing but range. I think it's more fun. I have more fun playing a class that's both, you know, moves, you know, that's both, you know, or more focused on melee. Take your pick. Multi you're open for is Dark Reflection, Protection from Evil. Yeah, that's a thing. Your Dark Reflection will insta-pop constantly if you get that, which is insane. I could be Spear Ranger with Crossy, but I'd rather just play Fighter. Dang. It's so large. Jesus. Should I just strip off my shirt if I see a warlock? I feel like I should. Like, I feel like this shirt should just instantly come off. I, I've never seen a lion's head there. That's the first fruit. was like one of the most imbalanced fights that I've ever had. That's what it's like when you play against Warlock with this build, except the opposite direction. Yeah, I think you just got like a point of view of what's gonna happen to me when I find the Warlock player. Well, when I play this build, I'm thankful for rogues because it means that they might kill the warlocks. Like the one saving grace of a heavy rogue meta is they kind of can keep warlocks in check, kind of, if they play well and they catch you off guard, but I never die to any rogues, so I don't really know. Yeah, Rogue can be kind of tough on Goblin Cave just because a lot of space is very enclosed. I, I do I do kind of understand that. Kind of wondering. 
of where I want to go. I just, I know there's two warlocks in this game, so I'm just kind of debating when, how much I want to commit. Yeah, Kriv. I, I, I stopped playing Cleric. That is, uh, that is done. That's why I changed the title. So after stream, when the title changes back to Cleric, because that's what the beginning of the stream was, you know, the title will make more sense. That's a pretty good mummy ring. No, it was, it was, I had like one good game, but it was really just a reminder of why I don't play Cleric. Combo attack isn't as good as you think it is on this build. Most of your damage is true damage, not the uh, base damage. You don't need combo attack. for a second. This kit? Yeah, this kit's more expensive now because everyone copied my build. When I bought this build, it was probably like 2k. At most. It used to be. God damn it. It used to be a lot cheaper. That's what happens when people copy my builds, though. They get it more expensive. Although, hell no. I don't know why you'd even want to build this build. Just play Warlock, man. Problem is, there's too many rogues. And you don't even have time to cast your spells because every corner has a rogue or a creeping player. It's 15k for a good stabby fighter kit. Is that true? Jesus, things have changed. Yeah, I think Barb is like the main counter and the other ones are like soft counters. I think Crystal Sword Warlock is really, really strong. You're a player. Oh, he's on there. Sorry, man. It's just the nature of the beast. What happens when I make videos? My builds always go up in price. I hate creeping. I, I'm i still hoping creeping gets taken out of this game for anyone except for Rogue. Where's the guy? I heard him breaking a vase. Survival bow is way better than crossbow. If you needed any example of a fight, there it is. 
There it is, fellas. That's how you turn an auto loss to sometimes you can win. Oh man, oh man. I thought I was dead as soon as I heard that. I, I dude, every time I hear the magic come in, I, I'm just like ready to die. That's how it is. <laughs> it's how it is, man. It's so scary. I think I, I nailed my shots, I feel like. I can't believe he tried to parry my uh, arrows. What a chad. The Pavis? Oh, who cares about the Pavis, dude? <laughs> yeah, I'm always content killing a Warlock player. Hey, Dragon. How you doing, man? Appreciate it, man. Glad you like the YouTube content. That really is the way to kill them though. Use like, use line of sight breakers. Don't let them hit you and then just nail your shots. That's pretty much it. And uh, if they phantomize towards you, that's when you use sprint. Don't use it before. You need the speed to outpace the phantomize speed. Tip for barb matchup with cross sword, bring a halberd bardia secondary. That's fair, Russell. That's actually not a bad idea. It probably is better because crystal sword's not good against barb. And you have a secondary slot anyway. Could consider that. Yeah, a good fighter can counter warlocks, but it's still really hard. It's still a very, very tough fight. It's not an auto win by any means. You have to play very well to kill Warlocks with this build. Speaking of... Warlocks... dead could be might be dead Oh, why am I playing this class? I should just play Warlock instead. I'm so stupid for playing this build in the Warlock meta. I'm not even kidding. Warlock is literally the king of solos right now. Literal king. I don't know why you play any other class. I'm just playing at a, a giant handicap playing anything else. It's just so lame. The balance is so, so bad. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't want to play Barb though. Barb's kind of boring. Nah, dude, I, Warlock's way better than Barb right now in general. For general use, you don't, you, you play. For general use, I'd much rather play Warlock than Barb.
beat me if I'm better than you, I guess. I need to bring more arrows in the future. Dude's using like the most scuffed melee warlock, but I have no sympathy. Literally no sympathy. <laughs> I'm so tired of fighting warlocks. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Playing for my life at every turn in this game, man. Crazy. And I'm out of arrows. <gasps> oh my god, man. I mean, it's the only thing I have. It, the bow is the only thing I have to keep me from getting one tap by all these goddamn warlocks. <laughs> it's so scary, man. Warlocks are horrifying to fight. There's a reason I've been rampaging on my warlock, because it's, it's so good. It's so strong, man. You, you saw that warlock hit earlier with his spell, right? I lost like 40% of my health in one spell. It's scary. I did it, but... At what cost? I can't believe I survived that game. Oh my god, it's this guy. Dude, this guy is so... This guy was in game chat. I think he's a loser. I'm gonna be honest with you. He was trash talking in game chat. He 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 teabagged at me, friendly, and then chased after me, and then like, yeah, dude, I yeah, I don't like that guy. That's the leaderboard guy that plays this game nonstop. Growing on Twitch fast. Hey man, I appreciate the Twitch support, man. I just started not too long ago, so it is it is cool to see you guys here. That is for sure. That's for sure. I, I can't believe I survived that game. I thought I was gone. I thought I was done. I was ready to like I was ready to have to re-kit or, or play Warlock. <laughs> Luckily I did not. I need to bring more arrows though, because I almost ran out that game. Definitely don't want that happening. I do like the survival boat. Seems pretty good. Send me a DM. I can check it later, man. Got a question. What do I want on survival bow? Uh, I've got armor penetration and physical damage, but if you have to choose just one stat, I would choose armor pen and then just stack true damage on your build and you should be okay. That's, that's what I do. All right. Uh, do I need to do anything? I have my healing, lockpick, coin bag. Oh, my stuff is selling. I should probably keep up this. Uh, tattered. I always forget the name of the cloaks. People even care about longbows? I don't know. Maybe in trios. <laughs> Not really. It's like barely better selling it on the market. I guess I'll sell it. Movement speed? Uh, I can show you my stuff here in a second after I get the market stuff sold. I think it's like 293, I think, right? Something like that. I know it's close to that. Pretty good buckle boots. Double move speed rolls. Should sell pretty, pretty well. Might take me a minute to figure out how much to sell it for, though. Because it's pretty hard to sell double rolls. People don't really look for them. Well, there's only, oh, I guess there's not a lot of boots here, so maybe it won't be as hard. Oh, let's see, so better than that. Better than that. Okay, that one's better than mine, so I'll do a little bit less than that. Maybe like 450, 500. That'd be fine. Uh, let's see, so yeah, right now we're at 293 movement speed. Hey, average gamer, I appreciate the tier 1 sub. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, slow from survival helps. Yeah, the slow from survival does help. Also, if you're nailing your shots with true damage, you just, you're always dealing pretty consistent damage, which is nice. Play it now, most common multi-class you're going to see is fighter, cleric, paladins, and fighter, wizard. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, guys, I'll be back in a minute, all right?
why can't you choose Amazon Prime sub? I, I'm not too familiar with Twitch, so unfortunately I don't know the answer to that question. But I think other people have used Amazon Prime sub, so I, I wish I had an answer for you, but I, I really don't. If anyone in chat has any idea, feel free to speak up, but yeah, I, I just, I don't have a lot of Twitch experience. Let's do it. How much how do you get so much action speed oh so it's it's just the gear like cloth pants adventure boots uh dexterity rings it's just all the little bits and pieces of dexterity gear just add up pretty quickly and then the uh adrenaline rush gives you an additional 15 percent total i think right now with adrenaline rush i'm sitting at 36 percent and then if i fall below 40 percent, i get the extra action speed too so i go up to 50 and i tell you what if I'm at range, 50% survival, uh, sorry, 50% action speed on survival is pretty good. Yeah, you're good, Elder. No rush, man. But it should, it should be on your end, not on my end, but I can look. Maybe I have to enable something, because I did think someone already did something with Amazon Prime for me, but maybe there's a setting I have to mess with. I'm not sure. Better for Warlock? Well... I think it's probably up for debate. The crystal sword, no, I'm sorry. The crystal ball, uh, Chris Dagger is still a really strong build. I really like the crystal sword build. I just wanted a little break from the Warlock gameplay today, or at least for now. But to be honest with you, I would rather play Warlock at least if I was trying to like, you know, if I was trying to play meta. Uh, Chris is probably more meta, but crystal sword's kind of fun. This build would be so much better if Warlocks weren't everywhere. It'd be so much better if it was. I should probably leave doors open for casters. Because having a door in the way against the caster is really, really good. And it's probably worth the potential someone creeping up to me. And if someone runs away from me with the doors, it's better than dying, right? So. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can't play a goblin. <laughs> Worth using crystal sword in normals? I don't think so. The normals crystal sword kind of sucks. Does like no damage, and the stacking you don't have the magic damage stacks, so I'd say no. Hold up. Jesus, that guy got melted. Oh my god, that's disgusting. This is why I leave doors open. FYI.
Where to go? Where did he go? I don't really know where the rogue went. Pretty sure he looted the body too. He probably didn't have anything. There he is. Oh wow, that was really close. I mi I kind of went there. Oh my god, my health! Wow, that was a that was a little closer than I was expecting. Oh, he caught me off guard. I was like, yeah, I'll just keep running. No, he did not. <laughs> he did not keep running. Oh, it's okay. Carried by the gear. Yeah, that poison almost won after I died. Yeah, I gotta remember. There's, there's not even that geared. God damn. Oh, poison's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> shoot, shoot. That got me pretty low. That's scary. I, I, I didn't respect. I didn't respect him as much as I should have. I almost got, uh, I almost got killed just because I just took him not seriously. <laughs> Oh. That was very, very close. For his gear. Yeah, I think it was the magic damage. I think that's what... Oh, you know, he probably had armor pen, too. Yeah, so between the mat... Yeah, between the poison and the armor pen that he probably had with the dagger, it makes a big difference. It's okay. Yeah, he had better. Yeah, he he did way better in that fight than I thought he was going to. I'm gonna be honest. I I need to take rogues more seriously when I play this build because it usually gets me killed. <clears throat> um. Anyway. Um. Okay. <laughs> Not that rogue. That rogue was... That rogue just kind of ate it. <laughs> GG, I guess. Sorry, man. Legendary? Oh. Look at that. His gear wasn't too good, but... The legendary rondelle is kind of cool looking. Hey, wait a minute. That's better than my rondelle. I got an upgrade. <laughs> Here you go. Cool, cool, cool. Should have shut the door. I should have shut that door. I really goofed up by not shutting that. He probably would have been dead if I did.
Oh, I'm so dumb. They'll dominate Slayer Fighter. As long as they don't hit their uh, their crossbow hit. You should be sitting pretty. <laughs> GG, sir. GG. So whenever someone tells me to play Slayer Fighter, I just imagine running into this build and I would just be upset <laughs> because I'm telling you, man, this build is really, really good against Slayer. At least it feels that way to me. Drew, he didn't even touch me too. Yeah, he was mining. Is copper worth anything? I don't really know. I don't know. I guess I could grab some. I don't really know if it's worth it or not, but... Couldn't hurt, I suppose. I want to grab these surge up kits, but I don't have room. It's tough. Right, let's... I think I did kill like the whole lobby. <laughs> You're right. Copper's 80 each. Oh, it's not bad. Hey, I'll just sell it there then. But I'll just keep the stack. I don't trust myself mining for ore because of creep. Very loud and people will just sneak up on you. Very scary. Alright, well, I'm ready to go. Ready to reset. How many kills did I get this game for? I think I got four kills, I think. What class is that? I need to know. Cleric? I don't want to fight a cleric. Yeah, race guard cleric sucks, dude. Oh, well, but maybe, maybe, I don't know, man. I don't think it's very good. It's usable, but it's not like super great. It's okay, but it's no, it's definitely not meta. I can show gear after this game, uh, root harn. ADH, but they've been there for a while. I guess I could just undercut it and call it a day. I've already killed like enough players this game. I don't need to go chase the cleric. That actually counters this build, by the way. This build is not great against cleric. It can kill him, but it's not perfect or anything. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Looks good to me. Yeah, if I was playing my cleric build this game, I would definitely be dead. Super dead. Yeah. Undefeated. Wow, I bet you're really proud of yourself for being undefeated playing Warlock. <laughs> oh man, the audacity of these people. <laughs> oh man, it's okay. It's alright. Now that I've personally played Warlock, I just have so little respect for the class in solos. It feels so good in solos, man. It's really hard for me to take it seriously. I I, I feel like I was just murdering everybody for free. So, I, I just, I don't know. I just don't know, man. I don't know.
vlog videos and saying, hey, glad you liked it, man. Yeah, I, I the, the PvP I had in that Warlock video today was just stupid good. It, it, I think it really showcased how broken Warlock really is in solos, and I hope it gets them nerfed. Because if they don't nerf it, I'm going to play Warlock, and if they don't nerf it, then I get to actually play other classes. So, take your pick. <laughs> take your pick. Take your pick. All right, I'm going to do some quick trading, and then we'll be good to go. I should probably sell for a decent amount. Not a crazy amount, but a few hundred, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. Although these aren't selling, so I guess I'll undercut it. All right, I know I'll show my gear. I know I said I would. Uh, just give me a second to just finish organizing and I'll do it. All right, fellas, I'm going to show my gear. All right. So the general idea, so if, if you haven't seen this build yet, the general idea of it is we are building action speed, movement speed, armor, and true damage. So the idea of this is our action speed is 21% base, and we're using the Rondell Dagger, the one that I just got from the rogue I killed, funny enough. And we are using true damage scaling with the action speed and adrenaline rush to swing very, very fast. Yes, I should buy arrows before I forget. So I'm using uh, cloth pants because it's it gives the base, uh, you know, it gives base dexterity. In theory, loose trousers would probably be better if you found good stats, but cloth pants are a lot more affordable. So I went for those. Uh, adventure boots are just kind of an easy slot because it gives you the dexterity as well. I used to use light gauntlets, but I like the armor that you get from heavy gauntlets, so I use these instead. Any other stats are bonus. Dark Curace is my budget version of my chest piece. I personally prefer the fine Curace. I think it's better. But this is a faster piece, and if you can find really good stats, it can compete. The agility and action speed is really good for this build, so I went with it. Crusader Helm is really good for this as well. It has pretty good armor rating, good headshot damage reduction, and it has dexterity and agility, which is exactly the kind of stats that we're looking for. Frost Amulet with armor rating is just an easy way to get three true damage. And obviously the Rings of Finesse, we want those just because we want the action speed total. Funny enough, this isn't even Biss because it's not even two true damage, but I've been running it for so long, I just don't care. And uh, Survival Bow, using that to try to be able to be a little bit better against magic users. And I think it's just good, nice to have like very quick firing, you know. I think it's it's probably better than Crossbow now that I've gotten a chance to kind of get used to it a little bit. And since they nerf Francisca damage again, uh, you can't really rely on these anymore for damage. So you really do want the Survival Bow, I think. Like bacon? Of course I like bacon. Bacon's great. Hey, Rudharn, I appreciate the Prime at gaming subscription, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, uh, so it, most of the damage I'm doing, it's only 50. But look how fast we're swinging. Remember, every single swing is 10 true damage. Meaning that even if we're hitting, like, on, like, the arms, we're still doing pretty good damage for our speed. And, uh, the survival bow is also doing about 50, I think. So it's just, it's just, it just feels really, really good to me personally. You were the rogue that... Oh no. <laughs> Liam. GG, man. That was you? Yeah. Yeah, no, this build is built very, very fast. When I have sprint up, I'm faster than rogues. This build's very strong at that. GG, man. If you can hit 295 speed. Well, I'm already at 293. I'm close enough. Also, fellas, uh, those of you on YouTube, if you don't mind liking the video, 
uh, it helps out the VOD after the stream. So, gotta ask. Gotta ask. Yeah, GG, Liam. GG. I think I killed like four people that game. You were, I think you were the last person I managed to fight. You mean you? Oh, you mean like me personally? Yeah, I feel like once I get decent speed, I feel like I do pretty well in my games for the most part. Cleric's just like an exception right now because Cleric is just not feeling the best. Cleric's just not it for me right now, man. This build's not super, super crazy against um, Warlocks, but, you know, can't, can't win at all, man. You either, you either play Warlock or you fight him. <laughs> take, your, take your pick, man. And I, I wanted to do something different. Your, my gear's better? Well, I bought this gear before it got super expensive. So this is like, this kit was like 2K gold. Uh, maybe 2K, something around there. Maybe 2.5. Now it's probably way more expensive. But it might get cheaper as people realize that Warlock is so strong and then people stop wanting to play it. See, what happens is when I make a build that is not meta, it's very cheap, and then all of you guys copy my builds and then it becomes really expensive. It's usually how it goes. Like, almost like clockwork. Also, hey, John. Welcome. Thank you for subbing to the channel. Appreciate it. Uh, don't want to go through here. Warlock are already posting about your- Oh, are they really? The Warlocks are posting about my build? Dude, the Warlock in Discord yesterday were telling me the Crystal Sword was trash. Which was so not true. I'm glad I showed people the way. Those people were dogging on that Crystal Sword and I was like, no, no, no. It's actually pretty good. You guys are just tripping. Dude, that's how it goes, man. People don't realize it's actually really strong. And then I make a video and they're like, oh, actually, this is pretty good. And then it becomes really expensive. I should check the price of Crystal Swords in the marketplace. Because I bet you they're more expensive than they were yesterday. I was buying, like, 9% 17 magic damage Crystal Swords yesterday. Like, morning for 300 to 250 gold. I would bet you gold that they're more expensive than that now. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, if you're running like a junk gear crystal sword, of course it's gonna feel bad to you. Yeah, of course. Where's that? This man ain't gonna fight me, is he? No, he is not. Uh-oh. Did I make fun of you, Ricky? Looking for the rogue. I know you're not in Voight, but I'm looking for the rogue. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave him alone because I don't know where the rogue is. If you follow me, then I'm gonna have to fight you and you're not gonna be happy. Oh god, it's another guy. Oh god. There's more. <laughs> they're they're multiplying. This is what happens. You don't kill one guy and they start multiplying. if you can even call that gg because i think that guy just auto loses i think i could have given that i think i could have given my mouse and keyboard to any player and they would win that fight because of gear so don't feel too proud of me for winning that fight it's like, it's like a gear diff not even a skill diff yeah he he had zero chance to kill me so i feel a little bad surprised he fought me though so i gotta give him some honor for that 550 gold for 9% magic epic sword. There you go, Giga Chad. I told you. There you go. 
there some people were doubting me that i didn't influence prices on market if that doesn't prove my point that my build has become two times more expensive overnight then i don't think anything will i'm telling you i was literally buying those swords for 300 to 250 gold yesterday so that is kind of, that is a little insane yeah uh unfortunately long sword fighters lose to this build Unfortunately for me, not fortunate for them. You've been screwing market for weeks. I know, I know. Yeah, but people just, people are haters. They always do that. How do you know how to build so well? I just understand stats. I might not be the best player that plays this game, but I'm really, really solid at making builds out of classes that I don't even play. Like the Warlock build? I don't even play Warlock. I just, I don't know, it just looked good. <laughs> uh, yeah, the green occultist robes, I was buying them for 350 gold yesterday. So they've all, yeah, I was, I was paying about 350. I'm just waiting for this guy to fight this troll. I guess I'll say sorry in advance. Unless it's a warlock, then I'm gonna run away. <laughs> I don't I don't think I saw any warlocks in this lobby, but you never know. Appreciate it, lazy top lane. Glad you like the content. You wanna see the calculations? Well, I don't usually test it in game. Well, I guess I do, but like I theory craft in the menu and I just kind of like keep testing until it works. What you guys don't see off stream is me building crazy builds and they don't work and then they get dumpstered and then you never see them. That's kind of the big thing for me. Well, also, I feel like my kits are relatively accessible to most players, except for when it gets like, you know, no chance oh that was the barb that i didn't kill earlier oh he's gonna hate me now it did take a long time but i feel a little bad that was my barb buddy that i didn't kill i was looking for that rogue sorry man had to be the cheapest crystal sword with 17 magic? Nah, you lying. Are you serious? The cheapest? No, are you actually serious? Are you, are, that's insane. 1700, 1400 gold? What? Anyway, moving on, moving on. This build's really good against barbs, by the way. A draw rush is good, dude. Yeah, dude, this build slaps. I'm telling you, this build is so fun. If it wasn't for the damn warlocks ruining my day every once in a while, I would play this more often. It's so fun. I don't know what chance he had, but I'll take that ring. Thanks. GG, man. Most of his gear is not too crazy. I'm just going to leave it. I'll, oh, let's go hit the pile. Yeah, I need to go to the pile before it's too late. Whoa, whoa, that's... Oh my god, those are good. Grab those. This build strong against everything that's not magic damage. Mostly. Ow. 
I mean, you don't need a crystal sword with uh, 17 damage and bonus, but that, those were the ones I was using, which are pretty good. All right, um, I need to drop some gear. Okay, well, this stuff's not even good. So, hold up. Need space. Anything that's not good, I'll drop here. I guess I can make a little uh, treasure pile. Drop a bunch of healing up here. Yeah, let's drop the healing too. Don't need this much healing. It's ridiculous. <laughs> That's actually absurd. Alright, start looting real quick. Please check. No, check this first. Always check the door. You never know. I, it's like never open, but if by chance it happens to be open, it's great. Pans are expensive. Yeah, for Ollie. Wizards are a bit... Yeah, so the the thing is, I noticed that there's not a lot of wizards anymore. So this build's a lot safer. It's just the warlocks you gotta worry about. Yeah, some of this gear is... But it's fine. Come on, gold chest? I've never gotten a gold chest from a pile. I'm due for one, man. This build's the most fun you've had in months. Yeah, dude, this build's really fun. The survival bow is really coming in clutch against these wizards and- or against these warlocks, too. Mm. Um, whatever. Am I gonna play Cleric? I did play Cleric at the beginning of the stream, bingo. I had one good game and I died like three times. And I'm gonna be honest, it's not it. Cleric's too frustrating to play now. I don't like it so anymore. They've they've really hurt they've really hurt the class. This creep change is really hurting too. Like a big thing with Cleric is constantly listening out for steps, because you need to be like prepared with buffs or whatever. It's so easy for every class to sneak up on you now. I hate playing Cleric. And then they got nerfed too, so it's just like double bad. Yeah, I think the rogues are keeping wizards in check. I think that is the case. At least that's what I think. When I play this build, I don't mind seeing rogues for the most part. Although they can kill me. I almost died to one earlier. Yep, creep, nerfs to cleric spells, nerf to cast speed. Yep, it's just everything's just stacking against cleric. Solo cleric, that is. I hear team cleric's still good, but... Still a quirk's really not it anymore. It's sad. I don't like it. But what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna cry about it. I'm just gonna play different classes. I mean, that's really all there is for me to do. Any of these green? Really? Looking for anything that's green. Looks like the answer is no. Alright, I think this is good enough. I think it's time to get out of here and probably get... That's still, that's pretty good value, but I'm kind of full. Are they still selling for like... Nah, I gotta grab that. Pretty sure these sell for like 100 gold a piece now. I don't know why they nerfed the club either, but that also hurts Cleric too. Am I gonna get hit on the way out? It's happened before. I think I'm good. Yeah, I've gotten- I've had people just sit on the other side of that door and I've died before, and it makes me sad. So I try to check before I leave. Could still be a warlock or something in here too, so... This game is not over. Pretty good inventory though. Good pants too. Yeah, the cleric build I was doing is pretty memey, but I don't think spell clerics any better. 
so that's why I figured I'd give it a try. It's pretty funny, but it's just not that good. It's like a wor it's literally just a worse warlock. And it's also really susceptible to cutthroat, so. And that's in Cutthroat Rogues are like every game now, so there's no point in trying it. It's actually why I don't like Caster Wizard right now. Just heard a portal, I think. Hmm. Thought I heard a portal, but I don't see nothing. I know I heard a portal. I know I'm not that crazy. Where's the portal? I heard it. Is it under? Maybe it's under. It very well could be. All right, that works. GG, fellas. Good day. I didn't go for the static because I was afraid of someone camping it. People, people be, people be creeping everywhere nowadays, man. Real scary. It's real scary. I'm gonna just vendor that. It's pretty bad. Pretty good game though. We had like at least fought. No, we made way better than 500. That that pair of pants is worth quite a bit. That was a good value game. Not bad. Not too shabby. Check what pants are worth. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess I can sell these real quick. Let's take a look, huh? Gotta be a good bit. Plus two all and it has move speed. Cheapest plus two all 750 without move speed. It's a shame that it's not a good move speed roll, but move speed's move speed, right? Jesus, I don't even see any move speed. Oh, there it is. Uh, 1.2, and it has luck. So mine's worse than this. I could probably sell mine for like, maybe 17.99, something like that. That'll probably sell, right? Right around that range. It has magic damage, maybe someone uses that too. I think that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with, I'm okay if that sells with that. I don't need to like, maximize value. I'm okay with that. Fifty a piece. Oh, these are. Oh yeah, cause they're. Wait, why is it fifty? Oh, just undercut. Yeah, I think they're just being undercut by a lot. I'm not gonna do that much undercutting. We'll do what, like three thirty-nine. I don't mind waiting a little bit. You got four sets. Oh. Oh, of the uh, Warlock gear? Well, hopefully you got it before my video release, because I knew it was going up. That's why last night I bought a bunch of gear sets. I wanted to have my gear sets for Warlock done. I'm glad I did, because I don't want to have to overpay for my own gear sets. <laughs> that's that's kind of annoying when that happens. How much are explosive bottles? Jesus, they're 100 gold apiece! Oh my god, you guys are ruthless. Jesus. That's crazy. Crazy. I need to start grabbing these. That's insane. That's so much gold. I haven't even been using these Francisco's funny enough, but I think I think I should still carry them with me just in case. You never know. It's better to have them than than to die because I don't have them. Explosive bottles are a lot because they're using it for Warlock and magic damage scaling. They're actually really, really strong for Warlock. I've been using them ever since Cleric too, but now that Warlock is a more popular solo class, yeah, they're just everywhere. Oh uh, no, I think Oil Lanterns, well, they're not the same. I think they do less damage. 
And also you can't stack them in stats of two, so they, they're not quite as good. To the moon. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Ro hey, look! Rogue, rogue, rogue. Ranger. So many rogues, dude. Jesus. The divine strike nerf. You mean the uh, holy strike nerf? I'm gonna assume you meant holy strike. Rogue doesn't. Guys, Rogue doesn't need a buff, okay? Look. Look, you can hate me all you want. I've been playing Rogue myself, and Rogue actually feels pretty strong to me in solos. So I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I think rogues are fine. Half my lobbies are rogues now. Every lobby, I see more rogues than warlocks. So look, you, you can you can complain and say warlocks weak or rogues weak all you want, but the reality is they're everywhere. They're everywhere in my games. So they're obviously not that weak. I think part of it is because cutthroat is such a good ability. If you put cutthroat on a slayer fighter, slayer fighter is probably just better. But Cutthroat is such a good ability that Rogue kind of just gets a lot of value, you know? Slayer fighters having Cutthroat could actually be really scary. Because then they're going to have like a Falchion and will silence you. Could be scary, man. You have issues with arm tears? Uh, well, I don't... I mean, not me personally. I mean, I don't... You know, I don't really deal with any of that kind of stuff, man. So I couldn't really tell you. Rogues are the best class for riding and looting, so many rogues does not equal that. Well, that might be true, but I was doing rogue for PvP exclusively, and I was doing pretty well. I have it. I mean, it was a stream a few days ago. I was using the Castellan uh, dagger on rogue, and I was killing a lot of players with it. It's actually really good. I think people don't give rogue enough credit for how good they are at PvP. Rank am I in solo HR? Um, well, I play like every class in the game pretty much, so I don't, I don't know. Most of my, I mostly just have like Pathfinder on most classes now. I play every class except for like Ranger and Bard, and I've even started playing both of those classes off stream. Just not a whole lot. Sorry, sorry uh, to skip. Cleric stream is done. We're done. You can probably already guess how that went because we're done. Very, very frustrating to go through the play. It's not working. Too many rogues. It's probably better if I don't say what server I'm playing on. Unless, oh no, you're replying to someone else. Okay. I was gonna say, it just kind of increases my chance of getting sniped if I just like actively say my server. <laughs> Not that I don't get sniped already, but probably don't need to actively, you know, <laughs> hurt myself on it. Because I don't really have a delay. Kind of just wing it. I don't really care. You know, I don't even mind when people snipe me, to be honest. I only mind specifically when I get teamed on and sniped. That's, that's what's annoying. But fair 1v1 fights. That's fine. How do you tell when someone got their kit from RNT? Oh, to be honest with you, I I kill most players that I come across, so if they're RNTing for their loot, then it didn't do them any good. Yeah, the only thing that sucks when I do get sniped is if they're count if they're like counter sniping me with you know a class that counters my own. That's a little annoying, but I mean nothing I can do about it. I mean, it is what it is. I can't stop them, so we just kind of I don't know, just accept it and move on. No use crying over it. I like the stiletto, but the stiletto dagger uh, has that hit registration issue, so I stopped using it. 
Even though I really do like that weapon. I think it got me killed a few times. Maybe go for another troll counter. Were there any warlocks in here? I didn't see any. I saw a lot of rogues. I don't think there are. Stiletto is bad because of the hit registration issue. That's a really, really big reason for it. Yeah, it's the hit register fail. That's what gets it, man. That's the sucky part. Oh, someone's fighting troll indeed. Oh, it's a bard. I should wait for him to go down. I don't want to fight a bard in the big open room. I want to fight bard in the like in the treasure room where they don't have space. I can kill bards down there a lot easier. I haven't fought a bard in a while. Jesus. Gotta shut that door. If I didn't shut that door, it would have just been another merry-go-round. GG. GG. No, I think I shut that. Well, remember, armor penetration is a thing. So that, that's probably what most of the damage he dealt was, was armor pen. Try to troll myself? Nah. I don't, <laughs> I don't slay troll. I don't trust myself. Yeah, I don't, I don't really trust myself. <laughs> I, I, I really don't. Tell me I'm bad if you want. I don't care. I, I can PvP, but I don't know. My, my troll, my troll, my, yeah, my troll fighting is, is not up the part. Oh my god, look at the knives. This is so gross. Uh, I think purple crossbows sell pretty easy. Does Bill Brexit? Oh, probably does. Honestly, I really should sit down and learn how to do troll better. Well, creep really hurts, uh, cleric, for my experience. Hey, he's not looted. Look at that. Not plus all stats, so I'm gonna drop it. Oh, he actually had some okay gear. Hey Max, I appreciate the donate. I appreciate the donation, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Are bardic pants worth anything? I don't know. It's plus three damage. It's oh, it's gone. Okay, never. I guess we don't care about that anymore.
I, I think the leather gloves might have been worth more, but it's too late for me to do anything with it. Oh, it's armor too. Okay, well. Arbartic can't sheep with plus all. Oh, do we trash him? We gone. All right, I'll take your word for it. I'll take your word for it. I can grab some of the other gear. Good enough. Yeah. Oh, oh, the pots. All right, time to head for an extract. Honestly, good deal. Get out of here. I personally find Adrenaline Rush really, really strong. I, I find it more helpful than Second Wind, even though people don't um necessarily agree. I think it's really, really strong. I'm going to head for the Static. Probably the one over here. Oh, wow. Barter Pants are cheap as hell. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't grab those. <laughs> Very glad I did not grab those. That would have just been a waste. I wonder if this is going to be taken. It's looted, so I feel like it's going to be taken, but... Only one way to find out. It's not taken, and there's no one here. I don't know what that means. I guess we're chilling, huh? I don't have like heals to fight that guy. I don't have like red pots or anything, so I can't really fight him. I have no red pots. I guess I have a surgy. I wasn't expecting to find a guy out here. Did that open? Oh, I thought I heard it open. That rogue was really fast. I couldn't even keep up with him with sprint. I might have goofed up here. I think I dropped too much healing. I was expecting this to like be well open by now. If that rogue comes back, I might be kind of screwed. I kind of already, I'm already like committed to this exit. It's it's way too late to be heading back in now, I think. Alright, get me out of here, please. Get me out of this dungeon. <laughs> that other rogue seemed kinda geared, so. Oh, he was gone. Okay, we were good. It's just a bunch of naked rogues. Yeah, I don't know, I was getting a little scared just because I I dropped all my healing. <laughs> but it's fine. It's all good. No big deal. Pretty good game, though. Got a pretty good amount of stuff from that. Not too shabby, I say. A lot of pots, too. I can't wait till I get my pistache stab. That'll be kind of nice. Hopefully get it sometime soon. That's why I'm really skeptical on dropping my healing before, uh, yeah, before the dungeon's over. 
Because if I if I was forced to fight that rogue, I would have been in some deep, deep problems. Would not have been fun. Not at all. Honestly, I could have died if he pushed me. It's very possible. Luckily, he did not. I mean, he didn't know I was out of healing, so I guess it's fine, but... Oh, hand crossbows have really fallen in price. Oh, all right. It used to, I think it used to be like almost 200 gold a piece, like almost free. Yeah, it's okay. That is a pretty bad falchion. I think even if it's even with bad stats, I think purple falchions will just sell for a couple hundred, right? I mean, it's not bad. Good enough. All right, uh, do I need to do anything before I forget? Uh, healing, Francisca, surgical kit, healing, one stack of arrows. Probably should keep bringing two stacks. All right, let's go. How about dual wield action speed instead of, well, the reason I'm using a shield is because the armor you gain from it is too good. It's too much armor uh, to lose. You're talking 7%, and that's a really big difference at the higher end. Will I play Warlock? Oh yeah, of course I'll play Warlock again, Karma. I will be. Nah, you lost a 15k kit to a crash? Oh, that hurts. That's... That hurts. Yeah, this game is not completely stable. To be honest, I feel like I've gotten pretty lucky with not crashing on stream recently, but I'm sure it's coming. <laughs> I'm sure it's coming, man. I think the strongest class in the game is Warlock in Solos. I don't even think it's a question. Crystal Sword Warlock's an absolute menace. <laughs> so dark. Yeah, I could probably go without having to fight more Crystal Sword Warlocks, but they're not going to get nerfed unless Iron Mace looks at them. And well, I don't know if they actually watch my videos, but even if they don't, maybe someone will copy my build and like, realize how stupid good it is. I think it's just Dark Reflection, man. That's like, it, Dark Reflection is such a problem. If you take Dark Reflection out of the game, it's probably not as broken. I think. You lost two kits of 40 ki Well, I mean, I don't feel better. I don't want you to lose your kits. You know, why, why would I want you to lose your kits, man? Doesn't help me, Eddie. Oh, I forgot lockpicks. Well, that's a misplay. I don't know, I've never had a developer comment on any of my videos, so... For all I know, they've never watched anything of mine. It's not even thorns, it's like the whole, it's the whole bush. It's the whole thorn bush. It's not like it hurts you a little bit. Yeah, of course we're talking about Kid of Warlocks already. Yeah, yeah, normal, normals is a whole different game. I don't, when I talk about balancing, I don't talk about normals just cause there's no gear involved. It's a whole different thing. I'm personally not a fan of Ruins, but I hope, at least for the people that do like it, that, you know, you guys will get to play it. How much move seed do you have? Uh, I'm sitting at 293 with Fist out right now. It's a Warlock, isn't it? Oh, 
looks like a warlock. That's definitely a warlock. It's a warlock, all right. Yeah, I'm good. Not that I can't kill him, but... Dude, creeping is such a pain in the ass now. Look at this. I can't even move through the, the thing, because it's so slow. I'm, I'm not trying to fight a warlock unless I have to. Warlocks are just so unfun to fight. <laughs> They're so unfun. I'll fight any other class, even a wizard. Before I fight a warlock. I don't really know what ruins is, they just kind of like got rid of it. I'm gonna hope that warlock runs into a rogue. That would be the better play, I think. No, that would be the better play for me. Because then I don't have to worry about him. Let the rogue kill the warlock and then I kill the rogue. That's the that's the good play. That's how I... That's the way I should do it. Makes way more sense. Go <laughs> Slayer Fighter though, I would've fought him for sure. I haven't found a wizard since the uh, spellcasting speed nerf. Wizard's been MIA. I think I found like one wizard player. Maybe two. Because I found one today, but he was like not geared at all. So I don't even know if you want to find it or not. It was like a it was like basically starter kit whiz. Yeah, I'm not really a huge fan of Ice Caves. Maybe it's better duo, but solo Ice Caves wasn't very fun to me. So I'm personally not too upset that I don't have to play it. Personally. Someone's gotta be in troll, because the skull is here. gonna get god eventually i think i don't know i'll just let him be i suppose Here, another warlock i think the warlock aqua warlock apocalypse oh my Notice he was up there. That was glow with the weapon. Okay, I actually had a lot of loot. I think I 
heard a second warlock up here somewhere. Unless he came up here and then just kind of dipped out. I'm not really sure. I think he's fighting a troll again. That's the rogue motto. If someone sees me, I can run. Pretty much. Doesn't work. Not all the time. Not against sprints. Dude, sprint's so good. If sprint ever gets nerfed, fighter's gonna be like such a different class. Sprint makes fighter just so absurdly strong. This build wouldn't even work without sprint. Honestly. Take away sprint and I never play this build again. Hopefully I don't fight anybody. Should be okay. It's only like 20 seconds to cool down. It's pretty low. But BSB, Chris, and Dex. Um, well, they just nerf BSB from 7 to 5 damage. Holy crap, it's a wizard. That's crazy, dude. Wizards don't play this game anymore in solos. That's crazy. I can't believe I found a wizard. We both missed every shot. I, I was trying so hard not to get hit. Scary, scary. Well, yeah, well, you don't want to fight wizards on this class. Thank God he can't land a zap. I was trying so hard not to get hit that I couldn't hit my own shots. I was trying to like hug that pillar as best as I could. I don't want to fight that wizard. No, that, that ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it, chief. I don't think he has spells. Probably could have killed him, but it's a warlock that one taps me, so I'm okay. I mean, he literally one taps me, so do I really want to fight this guy? Not really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was like my only my only play there. It, it wasn't enough. Yeah, that was the better play. There was definitely leaving. That was a losing battle. He had every he had every advantage in the world. He all he had to do was literally hit me one time and I'm dead. So yeah, I'm I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. It's not worth it. If I was playing my warlock though, I would have fought him for sure. Melee lock's good, dude. Melee lock is so strong. It's so good. I'm I'm trolling so hard by playing this build. I should just be playing warlock. Honestly. I'm literally trolling right now. It's so funny.
BOC absolutely should not work on throwing torches. <laughs> I don't need them to BOC me at rage too. Melee lock? Well, that's well, that's the boat I've been running. I just don't. <laughs> I was just trying to do something different, man. Tell you what, it'd be way, it'd be. I wouldn't have to try as hard. If I was playing that. If I was playing that build because I don't have to worry about every warlock just kind of dunking on me. Some pros and cons, but for the most part, I don't know, man. Can you see it? I mean, I. You want me to swap to a little bit of warlock? I can. You guys want warlock? And I guess worst case, I die, and I'll just kind of call it a night, or call it, you know, call it, you know, whatever. I did just make a video about it, though. I did. It's not that I can't play Warlock, it's just... <laughs> you know, I don't know. You guys want to see more Warlock? We could do, like, a game or two. Because I'm probably going to get off and eat dinner pretty soon, so... We could do, like, a Warlock game or two before I hop off. Alright? Why not? Why not? Damn, my rapier sold. Nice. Oh, God, the gold. Oh, God. <laughs> Forgot about that. Hold up. Screw it. You know what? I'm not even. I'm not even gonna do anything. We're just gonna run a game just for fun. Let's just do it. Let's play some lock. You guys want to see my damage? Pretty good. So 63, 31, 2. And then BOC adds another 46 damage on top of that. Uh, it only works. It's not the it's not the gear rarity. It's having additional magic damage on your uh on your pieces of gear. Yeah, my warlock hasn't died yet. I'm like six hours deep and I haven't died. But hey man, there's a first game for everything. It could hey, it could be this game. I could die to a, I could die to another crystal sword warlock. So, you never know. Die to a rogue. Hey be anything yeah no, the moment you start stacking additional damage uh when you're like on your main pieces that's when the spell starts to get really strong this is not a meme build no th no this is not a meme build at all people thought it was a meme build and i proved them wrong this is a this is actually a very very competent build Yeah, no, you can't play this with Squire slash normal skip. You you need you need gear. This is not a build that you can play with no gear. Yeah, the reason this build works so well is because additional magic damage uh, stacks so high. Like the mo like we're stacking sixteen additional magic damage. It's huge. A lot of damage. This build's trash in normals. I don't know who Vincent is. I also go Will. So my crystal sword damage, like the base damage, goes up too. You never know though, I could die this game. I mean, I'm not invincible. There's a lot of warlocks around, and warlocks can absolutely kill me. Anyone can kill me. I almost died a few times yesterday. A barbarian and a fighter almost killed me. They kited me pretty well. Yeah, it was pretty close. Like this build's really good, but it's not invincible. Big difference. Longsword? No, nah, I don't think I don't think longsword's worth playing in a, in this magic meta. You, you're crazy, crazy playing longsword right now. Yeah, no plate because you need speed. Yeah, this moves. This build's all about move speed. If you don't have move speed, you can't catch up the players, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, lucky for me. Even if the gear cost of this goes up, I have so much gold. It doesn't matter. I, I can pay it if I need to. I don't like to, but... Honestly, right now, I would not play Solo Cleric. Don't do it. It's bait. Solo Cleric is so bait right now. <laughs> I would not recommend it. Play, like, Fighter or Warlock 
Although it's kind of hard to learn the game on Warlock, so maybe not, but I, I'd say learn the game on Fighter before you do uh, Cleric and anymore. Because you, you want to actually like get good at PvP and Cleric is not a great class to get good at PvP in right now because of how weak it is. Just my own personal opinion. Replace something with Vigor? Well, there's not really a replacement for Vigor. Health is just health. It's always good, but speed is good. Dex is good. So when you play this build, you always need to have 10 stacks of soul collecting shards. Because it stacks your dark reflection by an actual metric one. Like literally double damage. And that's a lot in a game like Dark and Darker. Double damage is insane. Wonder who the first person will see us. Probably gonna be a warlock, just my guess. I mean, yeah, if someone's god with a bow, yeah, I could probably die, sure. I mean, I killed some warlocks with my bow. It's doable. It's just hard. Oh, shoot, that's a... That's a barb. Barbs are pretty scary. That's like the one class I don't want to fight as a barb. And that is probably a barb. Isn't that funny? Wouldn't it be funny if I ran into a barb? Which is like the counter to this. That would be so unlucky. If I swap the warlock and immediately fight a barbarian. That would be so dumb. Okay, well, you're in that glitch spot. Well, I guess it's not a glitch spot, but... I mean, he's untouchable. Can't I can't get up there. Well, I, I, I guess I can, but... I'm not going to. He'll probably just shoot at me if I try. I don't even know where to go. Yeah, that, that barb is kind of messing up my flow. A little bit. Looking for like any class but warlock. Or uh, any class but barb. I mean. Yeah, you can do that. Honestly, I considered playing Barb just to just to counter warlocks. I, I really did consider it. I don't want to clear like the entire lobby of mobs, but no one's here. I don't know where he went. Will the stream be longer today? Well, I've already been going for three and a half hours, so it's already longer than. It was uh, yesterday. Stream crash just kind of messed me up. I'm not really sure how long I'll stream. Just whenever I kind of feel like calling it a day, you know. Tell you what, if I die with this kit, I, it's probably GG. <laughs> probably. The Warlock saga will end. Well, you know, this kit's, this kit's journey will end. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where anybody is anymore. But I got, but I got that bard camping up there. I don't even want to go to that center. Are you going back to the, the special spot? Got a door? blame him for not fighting me but i think he was sitting up there for like five minutes someone's doing troll wonder if that's the barb he's clear dude i think i cleric's playable i just don't think it's super good 
I gotta, I gotta see what class is down here. If it's Barb, I might not fight him. two people here this isn't really a 2v1 build because the dark reflection only has one charge and barbs are very scary i can kill this i can kill the fighter i just don't want to get yeah i don't yeah he was ready for that ambush man yeah exactly <laughs> exactly i don't i don't want to get ambushed I might, I honestly might have considered fighting that barb, but different guy. Probably just gonna run. Most people do just run from me. I don't really get fights too often, unless I force them to. This is, this is typically how my fights go. See, if I was playing my PDR fighter build, I, I could have ran in there and killed that barb and probably still killed that fighter. But these warlocks, man, they're ruthless. Take your pick. Balance to me. <gasps> yeah, it seems pretty balanced. You hate this? You probably should hate this. Good. Maybe it means Iron Mace will also hate this. Huh? That'd be great. Because boy, oh boy, does it feel real stupid. This is the- that's the gameplay, man. That- that is the immersive gameplay of Warlock. You press Q, you press E, and then you press W, and then you press mouse 1, and then they die. Fun. Engaging. <laughs> yeah, you know what's really funny is that the, this is with BOC nerf, and it doesn't matter. Drathrin, did you not see my video from today? That's like the, the whole video today was nothing but Crystal Sword Warlock. Dude, yeah, yeah go, go play it before it gets uh, nerfed. You know it's coming. Well, it better be coming. Oh my god. It's not coming. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, dude, honestly, I'm telling you, try it before it's nerfed. I don't know if they're going to nerf it, but you never know. You never know. You can kill barbs with this, it's just that barbs are favored. If barbs have good magic resist, they should beat you. And it's it's mostly just like a, it's not even a, it's like a class check kind of deal. You think I should just sit here and wait? I don't know, my legs are feeling kind of tired, so. Maybe I should just wait. Fight in biz pots would be even better. Hmm. Do I care enough to wait here? It could be a while. It could be a long time before anyone comes around.
Yeah, I don't do Spellcast Warlock, but it's because of all the Cutthroat Rogues. I actually think Spellcast Warlock is better if it wasn't for all these Rogues that are running Cutthroat. That's the problem. This build is better against Cutthroat Rogues, so I use it. I don't really know. Do I just leave? I don't really have, like, much on me. That barb's probably long gone, too. It's hard to say. I don't know. This is a pretty common... That seems pretty balanced. That seems... That seems balanced to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the problem. You know, just... Yeah. Seems... 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 Uh, seems pretty balanced. And he has good gear. Alright. Oh. GG, I suppose. If we can even call it GG. It's like, it's almost not even right to say GG playing this build. I feel like that isn't worth as much as I think it is. Whatever. He can have the rest of it. I'm gonna just get out of here with that loot. Oh yeah, no, the sh shields are bugged. They don't even work. Oh, do you guys know about that? Crystal sword, the initial poke, goes straight through swords. Uh, it goes straight through shields too. So, that's the thing. It do be like that. Oh yeah, yeah, I, um, sorry. I just changed from my PDR fighter. I think I saw someone ask me. Yeah, yeah, I just changed. Uh, someone asked me to play some Warlock, so I, I don't know how long I'm going to be on for, so I figured I'd just, you know, figured I'd just do it. Why not? I play, I played quite a bit of fighters, so figured I'd swap over. This build really is just dummy strong. I don't... <laughs> I don't know, man. This feels very strong. You did? You're the culprit? You're the culprit as in... Uh oh, 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 the warlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm not forgetting anything. Let's go. Yeah, I can show you full uh, build. Uh, so basically, you're looking for additional magic damage on all of your uh, your your main pieces, and then I went for all the attributes and movement speed on the others. Honestly, I'm thinking about trading out the leather leggings and using something lighter because I could be even faster and speed is just always really good and then running lace turn shoe with will stat just to increase that a little bit uh leather buff with agility as well basically you're just looking for speed will additional magic damage and any kind of extra health you can get and it's smooth sailing man you might not win every fight but it's very very strong you're you'll, you'll be favored in a lot of your fights barbarian is probably like the biggest weakness because they have magic resist. Every other class should be like relatively even for the most part. Tank A players is still pretty good, honestly. If you if you look if you compare that to like a Steam game, Tank A is not bad. Also, the game is not on Steam, so that's gonna you know, it's not surprising. 
Doesn't mean it's done. If you want to see like a full build guide, I recommend just watching the video that I released today because it was it's literally the same exact build. Nothing has changed as far as that goes. Until I die with this build, I mean, I'll just be running the same thing. Yeah, back to money printer. You can blame Hardy. He asked me to play Warlock, so thank him. Back to menacing the dungeons. Yeah, honestly, for this game, 10k really isn't bad, man. It's really not. I would go as far as to say that retaining 10k... is it Has it been a month since wipe? I don't know. It's been at least a few weeks, right? I don't know exactly, but I would say they're doing pretty well. I need to get my 10 shulz cards before I can play the game. I don't need to clear this. Oh yeah, I think, dude, I, I do not understand how the devs have not removed creep yet. Creep is probably one of the worst things they've done to this game. I don't know why it's still in here, but it's, it's getting pretty tiring. They need to, they need to revert it, but I don't know if they're going to. And if they don't, it kind of worries me for the state of, like, solos. Alright, fighter. You ready? Oh my god, I got one tap! <laughs> oh my god. Well, there you go, I finally died. He had no health too. Holy god, I got like... Oh my god. <laughs> Mountain, there you go, I finally died. He got super low too, that's crazy. God damn, well there you go, I finally died. My Warlock's finally died. It took six hours. Yeah, dude, that Falchion hit was, like, really good. God damn. Well, GG, I suppose. GG. He was very low, too. Well, hey, man. I can't even be mad. The kit lasted me for so long. GG. It's all his. Enjoy the gear. It's fine. I got six backup kits we can play all night if I needed to. <laughs> yeah, I only hit him one time, and he was down to 20 HP. Yep. One time. That's all it took. Yeah, Hardy, it's all your fault. You've got me into this bind. It's okay. It's not too bad. Dude, I made... Dude, I, I literally... I made so much gear off that kit, guys. It's It's really fine. I bet you I made 40 to 50k off that gear. At least 50k. It's... Yeah, I literally made 50k off that, and then I bought extra kits while they were still super cheap. It's 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 really not a big deal. It is what it is. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I know. Hey, man. Uh, I can't be mad. I should have explosive bottled him or something. I didn't think... I didn't think I was low enough HP to get one tap there, but... It was, it was, it was enough, apparently. Rest in peace. I thought for sure I was safe. I thought I was good. I was not good. I was not good. Falchion hurts, man. Falchion's scary. Thing, thing I actually one tapped to. Well, it was two hits, but I, I'm saying from the HP that I had left, I'm surprised that he one-tapped me from there. 
No, the helmet wouldn't have saved you. Shadow mask is literally like five. Shad no, it's terrible. The the masks don't give you enough damage reduction to matter. They're not good. <laughs> They're not worth it, man. They're not worth it at all. I would not recommend. Would not recommend. All right, this build's a little bit slower than the other one was, so it's probably not as good. But you know what? We could just run it. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Unless I want to swap something out. Which, honestly, maybe I do. Do I want to swap something out? Loose trousers are probably just better than these, but... I don't know. That's yeah, fine. Yo, we'll just run it. We'll just... Yeah, we'll just run it. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Did I have 10? I thought I did, but I'm not sure. I thought I did. Damn, to the PDR fighter too. You know what? I didn't take him seriously enough, I guess. Every PDR fighter I've ever seen has just evaporated instantly. You know what? To be fair, he had 138 HP. That is a lot of health for a PDR fighter. That is way more than I usually expect PDR fighters to have. So the Vigor really did save him in that fight. Without hit, without Vigor, I think he's dead. Yeah, if I thought I was one shot, then I would have just thrown the explosive bottles or something. I really thought I was still two shots away from dying, but that was a really silly thought of mine to think that a Falchion wouldn't one tap me. Really silly thought on my part, so. It's on me. Probably a misplay, to be honest with you. I did. I did stat check the wrong person. I did. I did. I think I got stat checked, funny enough. Dude was pretty geared. 140 for PDR is pretty damn good. Well, you know, this is how it goes, right? You die one time and then it like spirals into like everyone and it spirals out of control. That's usually how I lose my kits is I die one time and then I just keep dying. <laughs> so, hey man, you know what? It's okay. Oh, sorry, Pikachu. I, someone asked me to play some Warlock, so I swapped over not too long ago. My bad. You know, you know what's getting me you know what's getting me killed? Or at least hurting me in fights? The ducking is slower. So when I try to crouch and I try to move out of the way, I just get headshot and I die. I'm going to be honest, the crouching change was really bad because of combat. It makes ducking, it makes ducking, um, you know, just general weapons bad. And it also makes PvE worse because PvE, like, if you're not cheesing it, the crouch actually just hurts you. I don't I don't understand why they changed crouch. Just get rid of creep. You didn't need crouching to change. Just remove creep from anything but rogue. That's all you had to do. I don't know why they're doing like all this convoluted things to try to make this bad mechanic work. I hate it. I really don't like it. Because I, I can't crouch in like any fights anymore. Like it doesn't work. It's I think it's getting me killed. I think I need to get out of the habit of even using crouch in fights because of how bad it is now. That would be the right play. I just don't know if I, but I have like a year of habit, you know? It's a long time to be doing the same exact thing or the same exact kind of combat, you know? Oh, dude, this room's great for warlocks. Just farm the, uh, farm those. But yeah, like, think about it this way. When you're in the middle of a fight and you, like, crouch and you would, like, go back to dodge um, swings, it doesn't work anymore. You just get hit. So it really sucks for me because my muscle memory is there of crouching during fights, but you can't do it anymore. If you do, you just die. It's... Yeah, you, you can't duck for melee anymore. It doesn't work. 
jumping is like the only really valid thing. Oh, was I really only at nine stacks? Maybe. I didn't know I was at nine. It's very possible that 10 would have killed. Hey, go up. How you doing, man? Yeah, I think the crouching. I don't know if it got me killed in that fight, but maybe. Thanks, Gola. I usually die because I get overconfident. When I when I when I have a kit for a long time, I start to play stupid, and then that's usually how I end up losing my kits. Like really, I should have popped another blue pot and I should have used explosive bottles on that fighter, but I didn't because I was like, yeah, it's a fighter, I'll just kill him. And then I don't know, I kind of deserve to die there. Oh, damn. Damn, I can't fight these guys. Well, there's two people here. Oh man, oh man, oh man, that sucks. I'm not sure, I don't know if they're teaming or not. Barb's already a pretty hard, shit. She might be dead. <sighs> Pretty fast. Not sure if I'm fast enough to not die to this guy though. Serious. Well, that doesn't help me. Yeah, that, that hit I just took is pretty. Oh. Like the farm. Farm shadow touch. I hate the mages in this game. We're just going the whole run around, aren't we, this game? Goddamn barbs. The counter to this. If I, dude, if I was on my PDR fighter, that barb would be dead. He would have been dead like five minutes ago. He gets so hard countered by my uh, fighter build. Why am I running into my counters now? This isn't fair. Where are the warlocks? This is this is not fair. You can't because you can't duck anymore because you can't crouch. It doesn't work, man. If you try to duck, if you try to crouch in a fight, you don't move anymore, so you just die. It sucks. Man. That hit, he was gone. <laughs> well, there you go. The death spiraled out of control. <gasps> the barb found me. The counter found me. Sad, sad day. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Unlucky. <laughs>
Why did we find the counter class? That wouldn't leave me alone. Oh god. Oh god damn it. <laughs> god damn it. Dude, there, yeah, Barb is the counter to this build. We just didn't see any barbs. Yeah, dude, the yeah, these this Y Achilles. Yeah, he's too fast. God damn it. God damn it. Well, what are you gonna do? I guess I guess we'll just retire this for now. <laughs> Because, you know, that's how it works, right? You die once with your good kit, and then you put on the worst kit, and then you die there because you run into your counter builds. If I was on my fighter, that guy would have been super dead. Why am I running into nothing but barbs now? Unlucky. Unlucky. I'm going back to my fighter. I'm going back to my fighter. So I can go die to a warlock instead. <laughs> my lobbies were nothing but warlocks. And then they j I swear. <laughs> this is how it is, man. That's how it is. This game, this game hates me. It sucks so much. I ran into nothing. I was running into nothing but warlocks on my fighter. And then I swapped a warlock and then it was just, ah, oh, the barbs, ah, oh, the barbs kill me. They kill me. Oh man, oh man. Oh well, it was fun. It was fun. Maybe people are wising up. These barbs are what? Let's see. What what warlock am I gonna run into this game? Probably this guy, right? Probably. And probably this one, too. There you go. <laughs> you wanted some proof that I swear to god this game hates me. Here's the warlock players. <laughs> oh well, it's okay. I know. Oops, all warlocks. It's all right. Oh well, what are you gonna do? You know, that just makes me wanna play Barb. You know what's real, it's really funny though. It's like, there's a, it's a rock, paper, scissors, like kind of triangle or whatever you wanna call it. Where you have like the crystal sword warlock, which wins against a lot of builds. You have Barb, with magic resist is surprisingly strong. And then you have like everyone else that is generally pretty easy to kill. Although I got gear stack gear checked by that fighter kind of, cause he had like 140 health, which is pretty good. Yeah, these counter classes, they, that'll do it, man. The counter classes will do it for you. That'll do it. Yeah, that, that I'm telling you that barb, it was his fight to lose and I couldn't get away from him. I think my build wasn't fast enough. I think if I was faster, I might've been able to kill that guy, but it didn't matter. Oh. I haven't hit, I haven't got hit by that in a long time. Oh, cause I crouched. Oh my God, I crouched. Did you see it? I went to dodge the centipede and I crouched and I got hit because I'm, I'm I'm still I'm still not used to it. That's yeah, that's exactly what happened. I need to stop crouching in fights, including mobs. I really need to. They they really have fundamentally ruined the. Uh, they really have ruined the, uh, like crouch mechanic in fights. I I think I really do think it's bad now. So I'm just gonna say, if I run into a warlock right off the rip, I'm gonna be very sad. Wouldn't it be how I wouldn't be surprised, but I don't know if I should push up there yet. Because if it is warlock, I don't want to be stuck up there with him. I need to know what I need to. <sighs> wow, he didn't push.
I really thought he pushed me, but maybe he knew. Maybe he knew better. Because I'm pretty sure that's a win for me if he pushes that. Wait, I guess I, at least I'm not on my warlock. I guess. For the third barbarian that I would have found. But that, dude, that barb said, oh, wait a minute. He said, wait a minute. Maybe I shouldn't fight this guy. He blue potted and then didn't commit though, which is crazy. I can't believe he didn't commit to that. He like wasted a pot. Strange. Every time I see someone use a pot, I just kind of assume they're going to fight me. Jesus, the police. He must have known. He, ha he had to have known. I don't know. How many people are running this build? Is there any chance that he knew it was me? Probably not, right? I doubt it. It's possible, but not likely. Unless he, unless he knew, unless he knew I was in this game by some small chance. Yeah, like the protection. The moment I see protection used, I'm like, okay, this guy's going to fight me, and then he just, he just ran. My guy ran, dude. He's gone. He is gone, gone. I, I couldn't even begin to tell you where this guy went to. <laughs> where did he go? All right, I'm just gonna go to like troll or something. I, I, I don't know where he went. My guy ran off. I scared him off real quick, I guess. I don't know. Maybe you want the troll? Possible. Unlikely, but possible. I'm gonna wait, I guess. He's probably close to done, right? Damn it. Not the warlocks, man. This is it, man. This is this is my destiny. Play fighter, run into a caster warlock. Play cat play warlock, run into barb. This is it. This is my game now. This is it, man. Do you know how hard of a fight it is? to beat that guy with this. Oh man, it would be hard. Where did the barb go? I can fight him. He's, I mean, that man's gone. I don't even know. I guess I'll just walk around the map till I find somebody. It's just, um, it's just unfortunate because I've been like doing pretty well at, I don't know, I, I've been doing okay at not running in the straight counters constantly, but these last few games have been really, really rough as far as that goes. It feels like no matter what class I play, I run into a counter. There's not even anyone here. I don't know. I'm sitting here looking for this barb and... All these rooms are not even touched. Alright, I have an idea. I have an idea of where I'm gonna go. Where he might have gone. 
possible that he went to the back area, like straight back across this room. That would be my first guess. It's a very common area for people to loot and then extract. Is this extraction out here? It's gonna be really funny as if he's not here. rogues. Well, hopefully the rogues managed to kill off the, uh, warlock. Oh, dude, he's not here either. It's a nightmare. I don't know. I guess every shield does after we found out that like it goes through like shields, but the blocker I swear has like no hitbox sometimes. It felt like I was blocking that too. I don't know. I guess he's not here either. It really does feel that way sometimes. The the class diff man. That's probably one of the worst ways to die in this game. Is coming across your counter and you're like, oh well. I kind of just lose. Multiclassing should fix it a little bit, but it's also going to make people really OP because it's too hard to get multiclassing. I mean, I don't even have a level 30 character and I stream this game. It's crazy. How are you aggroed? What are you doing? That is really funny. Where is that mage at? Is it in here? I think it's this mage. Damn, there's gotta be a rogue here, right? There has to be a rogue here. I refuse to believe there's not. I guess I'm just not going to fight anybody this game. I guess this is how it's going to be. I think I just saw him. Honestly, I might have just saw somebody. Very possible I just saw somebody. Or not, I don't know. Oh my god, dude. Where is the rogue? I swear he's here. I don't know. I guess I'm just going crazy, man. I, I really don't know. I've thought about doing that. Surge kit baiting people. Honestly, it's not a bad idea. Maybe I should start doing that. Pretty good bait. Tell you what, if I see someone surging, I'm definitely pushing them. Assuming they're weak. Actually, just that body just moved. That was weird. Oh, shoot. Oh, 
here's the players. Wow, that was a third party, wasn't it? That was a third party of the century. All right, well, didn't even give him a chance. This was the guy it trolled too. I don't know what chance he had, but it was it was zero. It was actually zero chance. I love warlocks so much. Oh my goodness, man. They just, you hit them and then they just back away and use a door and block the door with a hydra and they just full heal. I, I, I hate, I hate, I hate them so much. It is such a good solo class. All right, I don't know. I guess I'll just leave. I feel like I, I outplayed him completely. And it doesn't matter because he just body blocks that door and I can't kill him. That's all it is to it. It's so sad. Oh, Lord have mercy. At least I got the rings. I got the rings. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm glad I got those. At least. I think I got, like, most of the valuable stuff at least, so it wasn't, like, the end of the world, but... <laughs> oh, man, the warlocks. They're everywhere. They're so everywhere. I really should try, uh, I really should just play caster lock. It's probably just better. I just, I just, I just hate dealing with rogues. I know I had that guy one shot. One more shot, I, I'm pretty sure he was dead. Did you quit your bard? Uh, I didn't quit. I just the creep change has ruined bard for me because why well, don't I don't want to play a class that's super loud in a meta where everybody's creeping around every game. It's actually miserable playing bard because of the creep change. I was all ready to play it and then the creep thing happened and I kind of changed my mind because of that. That's the big reason I I changed my mind there. You know what's really funny to me? The uh, the fighter that I third partied, or the whatever it was, I think it was a fighter. I cannot believe he didn't heal before he started looting. That is such a noob mistake. Looting before you heal is is just such bait, because it's it's so likely to get third partied on this map. You never know. I would not recommend it unless he wasn't low and I just killed him. But I I don't think so. I don't think I don't think he was uh, full health. I don't. I really don't. Yeah, Cutthroat, yeah, Cutthroat Rogue, it makes you want to run BOC instead of Phantomize, but then, yeah, they, they start kiting you with hand crossbow, and you're like, ah, well, shoot. <laughs> you, you feel like you can't win sometimes. God, it's so rare to see Cleric these days. I can fight, I can fight uh, Barbarians all day. I love seeing Barbs when I play this class. It's by far the best one to see.
Well, Cutthroat disables BOC unless you hit him first. I don't do it. I'm really liking this survival though, man. I think this is gonna be my like go-to now for this build, using this instead of the uh, crossbow. After the holy strike nerf, clerics have kind of yeah. I don't blame them. What cleric wants to play in um? Yeah, what cleric wants to play solo right now? I don't mind it. Every time I make a guide, the whole lobby just makes my build. There are a lot of people that copy my builds. I think maybe, maybe that's why we're seeing a barb resurgence. Maybe we're seeing so many crystal sword warlocks that the barbarian started coming out, which actually counters the build. Maybe that's not the case, but it's possible. Okay. Frieza, I'm not, why would I tell you? Why would, I don't want you to buy all my survival bows. No, I look for, uh, I look for armor pen when I look for survival bows. Armor pen first, physical damage bonus second, and then weapon damage third. Although I think weapon damage might be better than physical. I don't know. I just, I just focus on the uh, armor pen. Well, you know, my builds do really well when people don't realize how good it is. And I think there are, I think so many people were sleeping on Crystal Sword Warlock that they weren't taking them seriously. Now the barbarians have come out and they're giving me some, you know, run for my money. So now I, now I swap back to this build to counter the barbarians that were bullying me. I don't know if it'll work, but that's the goal. Weapon damage is best. I think you're probably right. Weapon damage is probably better than physical damage bonus. At least for a survival bow, because the damage is so low. It's exactly what I was thinking, OSY. It just, it makes sense to run Barb right now because of all the Warlocks. And that's what I'm seeing today is a, is a like resurgence. No one was playing Barb before today. Nobody played Barb. It was so rare. But, you know, meta changes, you know, and now we're seeing a lot of Barbs. So now we swap to a build that isn't bad, but... Now we got to do like, it's like, it's the rock, paper, scissors, man. You know, we play this build. We got to worry about warlocks. If we play the warlock, we got to worry about barb. If I play war, if I play barb, I got to worry about PDR fighters, but you can outrun those. So maybe that's the play. I don't know. I do think barb is quite good right now. Uh, it's in, in a metal with warlocks. It's good. way long dead he just wasn't dead uh-oh uh-oh the third party man now buddy i bet that dude thought he was real slick 
coming in there to third party. I bet he did. <laughs> bet. Yeah, dude, you set this is a true damage build. I don't care about seven roar. I don't care about my damage. I care, it's the true damage that matters. Yeah, I don't care. I'll just I'll go right through it if I have to. It's the whole point of this build is true damage. God, I'm so glad I'm not on Warlock right now. I'm so glad. I think Horseman's Axes are selling right now, right? I heard they are. Yeah, if I was on Warlock, I'd be dead right now. I would, I, I 100% would be dead. I have no doubt in my mind. Horseman's Axe are five. Holy crap, really? Oh, damn. Okay, what barbarian told everybody to start playing with the uh, Horseman's Axe? What happened? Damn, I could leave happy right now if I wanted to. Pretty good amount of stuff. Not like super, super big profit, but some money. Oh, I might, I might check troll. I got time. And if it's not a warlock, I'm pretty confident. Is it more damage, does it? Oh, that is more damage. How much more is that? Like two damage, I think? Don't, looks like two. It's probably about that. All right, I'm gonna check. If it's warlock, I'm heading the other way. All right, I'm not worried about it then. Horseman with plus five is good again. That makes a big difference. I like Horseman's Axe. That was my favorite build. For Dark. I consider playing that again. That was fun. Savage Roar got nerfed too, right? The forty percent, I think, instead of fifty. Makes a difference. Yeah, I don't know if it's king. Maybe it's usable. That's probably the word. Usable. It always felt pretty good to me whenever I used the Viking sword, or the uh, horse one, I mean. Okay, well, no one can be here, because there's a goblin here. I feel like most of the lobby's dead, to be honest. I guess I could kill some peds. Yes. I mean, if the lobby's mostly dead, it doesn't hurt. Get a door open for backup just in case we need it. Try fighter in 3v3. No, I don't, I don't do teams. So I, I, I couldn't tell you about fighter in 3v3s. I can tell you about solo balance, but I I, I got I ain't got nothing for solo. I don't have anything for duos or trios for you. This has been such a mixed bag stream. We started with Cleric. We, we died like three or four times, but I got that one really, really crazy game that made up for all of the games, like all the gear I lost. And then I swapped to Fire and I'm doing really good, including killing Warlocks. But then I swapped to Warlock and I kept running into like barbs. So we're like full circle back. It's just so, it's just so funny.
worm glitch to elevator you got stuck all oh, that sucks yeah i know the the elevator is really wonky man For what it's worth, I do still think the Warlock build is really good and probably OP, even though I died, the barbs. I, st I just think Dark Reflection is too strong. Take away Dark Reflection and we can talk about it not being as like OP as you might think it is. Surge good's not bad. What are you building on the war on the warlock build? Stats attributes? Uh move speed and damage are the primary things. So from what I learned from that second game that I played and died on, uh, you probably need like 107, 108% move speed to make the build like really good. So, you know, use that info as you will. Try to build a little bit faster than I was building in the video today. That would probably work out better for you. Outside of that, I don't really have much else I can give you. It would be, if someone would start making meta videos after patch, um, well, the problem is, it's hard to rate every class in the game. People have such different opinions. I've given meta, I've given tier lists of solo classes. It just changes so fast, man. Like, I would have rated Cleric probably like mid tier before the nerf. Now they're bottom. Like, things change so fast. I couldn't even keep up with it if I wanted to. Then you have classes I don't even play. Which is like a whole different thing. Bad luck on Centipede, but it's free anyway. Hopefully the gate's open. Oh, someone stole it! Damn. Someone was actually left and stole my... Well, that's sad. Oh, Cleric plus Cleric ain't it, Chief. That's actually one of the counters of this build. That's crazy. We actually found a cleric. I can kill him, but it's not a it's not a fight I want to take. I've killed clerics, but I'd rather not. Really, rather not when I have full inventory. Clark was at top, but they were doing all right for themselves. They were definitely not bottom. Not like they are now. Yeah, things have changed very, very much. Come on, please. Is it not dead? There we go. Smiter Judgment, it's really hard to say. I think the reason Judgment was so strong was because of the spellcasting speed, but now that they nerfed spellcasting speed, Judgment isn't as good. It's, it's really hard to say. People keep mentioning Divine Protection, but I really feel like it's not good against, like, it's not that good against, like, casters, because you don't need PDR. I don't know. I'm kind of torn. I'm not really sure what the right play is right now, meta-wise. It really does feel like Warlock's the best one to play. But it's really hard to say. Really hard to say, for sure. I think I could have killed this player, but I knew because I knew his gear wasn't super great, but there's no reason to. There's, there's no reason to fight. Oh, he doesn't even have um magic damage. Oh, I could have killed this guy. He doesn't even have him. That's crazy. That's bold. Using Divine Protection only? That's crazy. At least if you're using plate, I think you're too slow.
they don't know how to nerf or buff they really do do very big changes don't they where like things will change by very big percentages i've noticed that too it's very rare that they do like small incremental changes it does happen but it's it's not very often so it is what it is man Uh, you know what, fellas? It's getting kind of late. It's like 8.30 and I haven't eaten dinner yet. That's a little bit excessive. <laughs> so I'm going to get off and I'm going to do that kind of stuff. So thank you guys for being here for the stream. I appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you don't mind liking the video over on the YouTube side, I'd appreciate that as well. Thank you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you guys later. All right. Have a good night.